All right, all right, all right. Um, uh, we are back with more Pokemon Mo. I believe Lizarin is online. I'm in the call right now. He's just probably setting up his own stream. It does say he's live, so. Um, yeah, he's here right now, so. Uh, I apparently left off just in a gym. I don't really remember doing this, but I think I can tell why. It's because I wanted to remind myself what trainers I'd done. I'm assuming I haven't done the ones up there. So, I guess let's just get right into it. Um. Yeah, for any VOD viewers, uh, I, I am... Very freshly awoken, so uh, I'm gonna be a little, a little on the groggy side for a teensy tiny bit. Uh, this start, I am caffeinating. I swear, <laughs> I'm clocking in my caffeine hours as we speak. I don't know how long this end bit of how ends gonna be. I remember the league here being really difficult. But hello, I'm hello! Oh, ah, ah, ah. Hello. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Yep, I already did my intro and everything. So, okay. where are you at right now? Um, I'm in the... My, you, how did you connect, disconnect my controller like that? Uh, sorry, I had to. Uh, I was plugging in my controller. Yeah, don't do that. I have an oh, extra okay. port. Um... Right, um, I'm in the 8th gym finding a trainer. Ah, cool, cool. So I already did, like, uh, last time since you, when you went, uh, when you had to go, I continued playing for about, I think it was like an hour and a half. So I just I've just finished with uh, the whole Steven thing, and I'm about to head into Sky Tower now, so. Wait, what's the Steven thing? Well, not, well, the Wallace thing, not the Steven thing. Well, Steven was there, too, but, you know. I had to go into the cave behind the gym. Cave behind the gym. Oh, right, yeah. Sorry, this this game has some very forgettable parts to me, so I don't know what yeah. you mean. Yo, there's an Apom uh, swarm on Route 118. That would be really cool if I liked Apom. I actually am going there. I like Apom. What about Ambipom? Be a very Do you like Ambipom? Ambipom? Mm, that's uh, yeah, not seems, really a good one. Yeah, it seems like a very controversial take. Um, it's not even that controversial. I think everyone just dis dis dislikes them. Oh, oh okay. My God, this yeah, that's just like a universal, like, what did you do to my boy? <clears throat> I think, what was I saying before you dropped in? I was saying that I... Don't know. I'm advertising this as the Hoenn finale. I don't know for sure that it will be. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be, unless the league is like way too hard to beat. That's the only thing I think that could make this not the finale. Yeah, I, I basically I have it as like on my road to victory road. That's my that's my subtitle. That's because it's like probably more generous. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I'm not sure. I mean, if we get there, we get there. But I don't think we're going to really, like, actually fully get to the top and, like, oh, yeah, we won. I think we're, we're probably going to be in one more episode, at most. See, I don't if know. Not, because be nice. I feel like this part of the game is maybe, like, three hours left, I think. Maybe. I, I know Wally's fight at the end of Elite Four is pretty challenging for some, so. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm I'm nervous about is I feel like I remember the end of I, I see the thing is I've only beaten Emerald like two times in my life maybe uh, right 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 so I don't really remember the end of it very well Gen three is such a like it's a really blurry gen to me of all the gens I've experienced three and five are the ones I remember the least. Makes sense, yeah. I mean, to me, I feel Gen 3, like, is the most familiar. I, I don't know. I re My memory's weird, because I remember a lot of stuff from it. But outside of that, I don't... Like, I don't think I ever really replayed the games more than, like, once. 
Like, I was always like either I'm going to be replaying the same game at the start of it over and over again, or I'm only going to play the game like entirely once because I'm not going to sit there and like, oh, I, I just played through a whole like 30 hour game. I'm not going to play it again. I'll be, I'll be losing all these Pokemon I caught. That's I, I really love them. So, all right. I think, them. <clears throat> I think I've only ever played through Gen 3 on, on my channel once. Right, uh, right. It was during a uh, time where I was living in the US, so that would have been about 10 years ago. Mm. Um, I have no recollection of it, but I remember doing it. Um, I, d I don't know I if I even finished that playthrough. I think I... If I recall exactly what I did was I I always got like the first game and then I got the the third game that they released you know the emerald I would I was always get re uh, ruby and then I would get emerald so I have two playthroughs usually like personally hmm. so I think that's why I have such a memory even though they might have changed it you know from game to game but for the most part it was always like the same strokes yeah also I, I got one of the eight pumps here. Oh, nice. I, um... I think I hey, had no. Ruby first, and I must have beaten that at some point. And then I got... Uh... Uh... What, what is it? Um, Sapphire. Yeah, that's the one. I got Sapphire. I remember buying Sapphire. I think it was one of the first times I had, like, the money to buy a game for myself. And then, it, it's Emerald. weird. I have, but I don't I really such, remember. Um, yeah, it's like I have such fond memories of like getting Ruby and then playing Ruby and having so much fun with that. Like, I don't really like. It's weird because I don't know why I had so much fond memories of it. Because it's for the most part, I just felt like, yeah, it was good. But it's like I remember g going to getting the game. And being like, oh my god, this is so cool. The Kate, the cart is so cool. It's see through. It's red. It's awesome. <laughs> you know, it's just the childhood wonder of it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Very similar experience. Cause I, I think I mentioned this in this playthrough. I got Ruby through uh, kind of scamming someone I knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and then like. Not too long afterwards, I got like money. I think it was for my birthday. I think it was like one of the first times I had like like money to spend, and I bought. I remember very specifically. I bought Sapphire and um, Metroid Zero Mission. That was the one. It was Ooh, the the new release. So it would have been Zero Mission. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember being, like, really proud of buying those, and I remember going to, uh, McDonald's afterwards, and I think I recall almost accidentally leaving them there. Oh like, my god. In a bag. Um, but I, I obviously I didn't. Uh, and I still have both of those cartridges to this day. Uh. Nice, nice. I, I, the thing is, I don't, like, I remember that, but I, if you were to ask me, like, if I remembered any experience from playing through... Ruby Sapphire or Emerald, so, or even Omega Ruby. I have, like, no memory of any of them. <laughs> so, here's here's a, a fun question I should ask. When you play the games, how did you normally play them when you were younger? What, what do you like, mean, how? Like, were you were you playing them, like, laying them on, on your bed? Did you play them, like, like, laying down? Stuff like that. Like, or were you, like, sitting down in a chair playing it? Stuff like that. Um... I think I used to play it, like, in my living room with, like, family around and, like, the, the TV on and stuff and just kind of, like, which I, I mean, I did mention before, I, I never used to play games with the sound on. So right, right, right. That'd probably be why. Because, like, one of the uh, interesting things, like, as a, like, a sort of science-y thingy, is a reason why a lot of people can remember Pokemon and their names so well together is the fact that when you're playing a Pokemon game 
and you're looking down at the screen, your brain has a sort of connection of connecting those better when you're looking down at the game. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure, and it's in the, uh, it's within the same part of your brain where you can connect faces and people's <clears throat> names. So, in the same uh, way, your knowledge of Pokemon, like, I'm really good at naming Pokemon names, but I suck at naming people and the names together and putting them together. So, Pokemon basically completely took over that part of my brain. But, depending on how you a person is in how you, like, play the game, it might not be remembered at all. Which is why it's like, I mentioned that because... If you might have, like, not much memory of it, that could be possibly why, like, just the situation you're in of, like, oh, you're always going back and forth with family members or any of that nonsense. Or, yeah, like, you're paying I, attention I, to watching TV. I guess the best I could tell uh, if I tried to remember is, like, I probably just didn't pay, like, that much attention. Like, it was kind of like a thing I was doing whilst also watching TV. Yeah, it makes whatever. sense. So that's probably why I just don't really remember this region that well. Because I genuinely... The thing that, like, confuses me is that I, I don't really remember the remakes either. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but I guess maybe it, it's just a matter of length, too. Like, it's been really long. There's also I've not... Played. for I think for one of the other reasons is, for the most part, there's not too much crazy stuff happens until like the very end so you're really most of the game is like you're going through a route going through a route going through a route going through a route and yeah. for a lot of other games it's like oh something unique happens there's a little uh you're chasing around like a pokemon in uh, uh whatever the one forest in johto or you're going through and you're seeing these like a dance or you go into this burned tower here it is you're really just you, you find a submarine maybe in a building, you you go through and you go up a mountain, there's an ashy area, that's cool, that's unique, but really nothing too crazy that like sticks in your brain. And that most probably, like what uh, in the past, oh, I love the uh, hidden, hidden, hidden buildings and such. Like that's probably like, uh, that's a unique thing that in core memory, oh, that's really cool, I remember that, it's really awesome. So mm -hmm. it's like, you only really remember those sort of things because that they connect to you. And so the whole game is sort of like, eh, well, there you go. It's like, it's because the game itself wasn't really holding within the memory of what you found interesting. I, uh, I must admit, as I've just reached him, I remember being very confused by one. I remember that. Yeah. I remember being like, wait a minute, that's not who was at the end of this. Yeah. <clears throat> very, uh, like, well. Like, yeah, it's like, wow, who, who is you? this guy? I, I, there was something, uh, I think it was in... Where was it? I think it was in the Vinemon Discord. Someone posted a picture of, like... They're basically using the exact same color palette as uh, Steven's. And yeah, slightly I saw different. that. It is, it, it is funny, because, yeah. I mean, I understand, like, oh, palettes... They have a limited palette selection, but... I'm pretty sure the sprite, they just literally just, like, duplicated the sprite and modified it slightly. I think I just lost my septile. Aw, oh, shit. But yeah, that was funny. I got I remember, two eight bombs, so... Like, okay, I think maybe I never finished my Pokemon Emerald playthrough that I did about ten years ago, because... I remember fighting one the first time in my life, and thinking, Wow, this guy is so easy compared to Wallace. I uh, think I have the same memory as well. Because but that was like... I don't remember in my previous playthrough if that was a, like a consistent thing or if that was like a one-time feeling. I think they, they nerfed him heavily and because they probably had people like, oh my god, can't believe how st hard Steven is, blah blah blah. And, and then they're like, okay, so we're gonna, ch since we're changing him out, let's nerf his moveset and make it completely different. That's my assumption, is what they probably did. And then they basically buffed Wallace as a champion because people really felt like he was a champion champion. I forget, who was the champion? No, Steven was the champion in the previous game, right? Or in, you know, Ruby Sapphire, not previous. I want to say it is ridiculous how many times I've been frozen in Pokemon compared to any other Pokemon <laughs> game in my life. Yeah. They, uh, they love their freezing. 
they have definitely, like, increased the odds of that. I don't think they increased the odds. I think it's just the... There's more Pokemon with it, and I, the AI sort of prioritizes it. All right, so let me see. Where do I go from here to get down to Pacific Log, or well, the, the tower, I should say? Why does my controller keep disconnecting? Um, I need to go right. Oh. And I should use oh, repel. Do I have any repels? <laughs> yeah, that's not good yeah. at all. Oh, shit. What happened? My, um, USB port on my Xbox controller, uh, it doesn't, like, click in. It's just kind of, like, slipping in. Oh, uh, it's, it's, you basically, it's being, it's overused in a way. So it's, now it's yeah. just, um... Yeah. Might have so. to get either get a, a a replacement cord or just a new controller entirely. Um, I think I have like another controller around, so I might see if it's the controller or not. Oh. The DualShock yeah. Four tends to work with most things on PC now, doesn't it? Uh, for the most part, yeah. We'll give that a try. See if it's anything. Yeah, that that is pathetic. It literally just slips right out. Yeah, I still can't believe how nice this UI looks still. Uh, it's the cord. Um, it was the cord, okay. <clears throat> yeah, my cord is, uh, it's like, I've just noticed it's, it's a, a very classic thing that you get with those type, it's type A, I can't remember, the micro USBs. Right, oh, I hate those ones. The, yeah, where they like start to like kind of point a little more downwards. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Um, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to quickly find a cable, so I will be right back. All right, sounds I good. Definitely have an extra one somewhere, so I shouldn't be too long. All right, sounds good. I'll be uh, taking on this Gyarados here. Um, he took my one of my Deli Bird, sadly. Rest in peace, Deli Bird. Got my Alpha Zoomerol. So this should be good. But yeah, since I'm uh, trying to find Sky, uh, the Sky Pillar, I think it was, or Sky Tower, um, to get Rayquaza, this will give me some time to uh, catch up and uh, do the gym. I think I'm my uh, gym should be easy. So I have a, a bunch of, like, I have two electric types. I have a Snorlax with a beefy boy. I have my Alpha Zoomerol now. Not really good against ice types, but will be decent uh, just for later. And of course, I have my Deli Bird as well. Technically, I have like two weaknesses. Well, is it two weaknesses or is it? Well, wait, what is my um? Gliscor, is he flying? Yeah, he's flying. So technically, I have one, two, I think three, three, maybe four weaknesses. So I might have to reconsider actually now that I think about it. But I think I should be able to hold well. And Snorlax and Raichu, generally, I feel, will be pretty decent. But yeah, it's like, once I do that, though, um, I'll take down that, and then we'll, we I think we just basically head to the uh, Victory Road, which will be generally decent, I feel, because the Victory Road in, uh, is, I think it's relatively short in this gen. I think there's some trainers, but I think it's almost like uh, you go through, you go up, and then you're right there. Either that or I'm confusing that with Gen 4's Victory Road. I remember either one of them, are it was like completely like either too hard or too difficult. And I can't remember which. But yeah. But yeah, this is going to be a whole bunch okay, of uh, decent XP. Yep, welcome back. Uh, just talking about. I couldn't remember if Victory Road was very short in this gen, or was that Gen Four is Victory Road. Because I recall one of them was like super short, and I can't think of which one it was. I think it might have been four. Right. Because four is like <clears throat> it's like held together by like um how incredibly like cave centric that genre that, that genre that region is <laughs> yeah uh, was, yeah 
so I think they made it kind of shorter because you were already dealing with caves so much. Maybe? Right. Maybe. I'm trying to my PlayStation controller with this instead because it would definitely be a lot more comfortable. Oh, um, God. Five tentacles. Oh, yeah, that's working. Okay, cool. Yeah, this actually feels a lot... See, the thing about the PlayStation controllers is they have a really nice D-pad. I like that a lot more yeah, than they the Xbox do. One. I, I feel like I have a mixed relationship with uh, PS, like PlayStation controllers. Like I liked them for a while, but then I got really used to like, like a lot of the uh, Xbox one, Xbox controllers. And then I started like getting back into like Nintendo controllers for a bit with the the joysticks at the bottom, and I'm like, I, I don't really know which one I prefer. <laughs> yeah, it's I kind of like, get what you're saying. Wait, especially because Nintendo controllers, controllers have... the joysticks at the bottom. Uh, I have an 8 bit do. Uh, 8 -bit oh, controller, okay. I, com is, yeah. I completely forgot that controller existed. Yeah, yeah. like I love that thing. But it, basically, that's like. That's basically the, um, the Nintendo, like, Pro controller, basically. It's almost the exact same, but, like, way better quality, I feel. See, I've only heard Vinny talk about them, and he sounds like he has a very bad time with them. So. Vin Vinny breaks every single controller that he has. He, he broke an Xbox controller somehow, he broke a Sony controller, <laughs> and, that, and then an the 8-bit dude broke okay. somehow. I, I, don't, I don't understand him. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, it's like, well, I don't know. It's like recently it was the, the bottom of his left joystick <clears throat> somehow broke off. On yeah, I remember Bidu. hearing about that one, yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, how? How how does that work? I wish uh, I knew. Either way, oh. they they do have uh, Ipidu did release like a newer, I think a newer controller, and they they're really quality controllers. Like, I like a lot of, a lot of the by them. Uh, they are. They're really good, and they like you can just you can play plug them in if you want, or you can do a uh, Bluetooth connection, which is also really nice. I, uh, I love the Switch Pro Controller. I, I feel like I've gotten a lot of mileage out of that. The only reason mm -hmm. I'm not using that for this, because I would, is um, I don't really like the D-pad on it that much. And this yeah, is, that's fair. This is a very D-pad kind of... like that, I feel like you kind of need to use a D-pad with this game. Yeah, you, I've been really... I, I For me, I've always just liked doing keyboard with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, that, I'm that just so used too. to it at this point. Because it's like I can just use the uh, arrow keys to move around, this <clears> mouse <throat> if I really want to like go focus in, but yeah. This King Dragon oh, yeah. is being such a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, King I've all, King Dragon oh, always no. was a nightmare, oh, I feel. No. Speaking of nightmares, I think I just uh -oh. had a moment of like PTSD because he sent out Whiskash and I just... Oh god. Oh no. I forgot all about that dude because I you, you go in it. with it for a specific counter of types, yep. and then you have wish cast there. It's yep. like nope, I don't. I'm not affected by electric. I'm like, oh, oh, Well, it's yeah. uh, Blaziken versus wish cast. You think I'm gonna win? <laughs> oh, oh boy, good luck. Uh. I'm just uh, getting some exp off these tentacles. Still, my my Blaziken actually almost knocked out the Whiskash, but I lost. It had it Aww. down to literally, I think, like probably like five HP at most. <laughs> nice, nice. That, that came closer than I thought it was going to, especially like because my Vibrava isn't evolved, so it's kind of really useless right now. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have like I need an ice move. That's something I could really use here. Also, I'm not sure if you saw like uh, during my last uh, after you left, I actually since it became nighttime in the game eventually, and so I evolved my uh, Gliscor and got my uh, Gligar now. Oh, nice, nice. So I was I was sort of happy that I actually spent like a little more time afterwards. <laughs> like, oh, I finally got it since. Since it, by the time we went live today, it's already sun rising, so it's like, I don't think it would even be able to be possible at that point. Yeah, since it's morning time right now, so. So I'm happy about that. So now he can, uh, be cool. 
I might have to teach my septile dragon pulse. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Goodbye, it's always good to have a dragon move every once in a while. Yeah, if you're in... that was the problem. Was as soon as um, one sent out his uh, Kingdra, it just ruined everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Kingdras. I feel every single time I run into a Kingdra or a Cedra, it's always like it's unsu It's like surprisingly always difficult, and they don't expect it because I, for some reason, my memory that mod is always like, eh, it's just whatever. It's it's a forgettable mod. Uh, no, it's it's a, it's a wall. <laughs> I think it's because you associate it with Cedra, which is not yeah. a very strong Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, oh I, God, I, it is. Uh, Wands of World Sprite is pretty crazy compared to his in game. It is <laughs> that is quite the different guy. Mhm. Mm Run away. He's starting and off, off with Wall Rain. Okay. That's not good because that has an ice move. Hopefully, I get to the city and I can, so I could buy a. Oh, god dang it, I got <coughs> uh, So I could get more repels. Is there a shop at uh, Pacific Log? I think it's Pacific Log, the floating town. No, I don't believe there is. Ugh. So there is no repels. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I think I'm almost there. Okay. Hopefully... I'm still very happy with my uh, Alpha Zoom roll. I mean, that's a big win. I know, it really is. Let's be able to get this guy. Hopefully you'll get one uh, next gen. You can find one. Imagine it was think... still Alpha Azumarill, though. Then what? <laughs> it's a, uh, imagine Alpha's feel. <clears throat> it's a big round it. boy. Uh... <laughs> a big round boy. <laughs> uh... The one thing I am sort of surprised that they don't have is um, Delta Species. Because if you uh, Delta Species, uh, for those that don't know, is uh, the when you have a Pokemon that's just specifically sort of like what the newer gens, where you uh, make it a specific type, and it's only that type. Uh, but Delta Species were like it was specifically only that type. You didn't transform into it or anything. That just makes me think of the Pokemon cards. Yeah, that's what its, uh, it's origins from. Also, oh, Ryan, hello. Uh, for some reason, the emote you tried to use there didn't work. Uh, that's a BTTV emote, so your thing might have broke again. No, don't say that. Does it work yeah. on your end? Uh, in chatty it does, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I can't click off right now. Maybe it was just that one emote. Sometimes that happens. Like, like, not like specifically that emote, but like sometimes like the first emote someone tries to use just doesn't work on my Easy. end. So if someone I'll could try putting one, another yeah. one in, yeah, we'll see if that. There does you go, anything. I sent it. Yeah, that worked. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, it just didn't like go through properly the first time for whatever reason. Yeah, it probably didn't uh, load. Uh, like BTTV didn't load yet, so. Well, it might be a good idea. Is <clears throat> mm, does no? I don't. I don't think you actually have that. So typically, what I do is I have my stream elements. Uh, it posts that I just went live in chat. So once it does that, you could technically, if you wanted to, you could have it mention like a BTT emote so that your chat would have it up with the emote. So then it would load in predetermined already or went live with it. So. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> this, this Kingdra, man. <laughs> this Kingdra. <laughs> that is twice now that one has had a Pokemon survive with like one HP. <laughs> and not sturdy. <laughs> no. Ironic, consider, uh, considering your infinite fusion earlier, having like sturdy so often. Oh it's like, this ain't, this ain't infinite. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind now is this game. That's what I say every time. This is not Pokemon. Pokemon. Come on. Give me a break yeah. from this. 
I, I, dirty is such a uh, annoying move, especially because oh man, you're you're tr hoping to be like oh I'm making progress, I'm making a whole bunch of progress, and then, nope, that's dirty. Also, I just made it to the island, I think, of Sky Tower, so oh nice. So I should be able to get uh, to the gym soon. Oh hey, there's uh, Wallace. Okay, Whiskash actually went down way easier this time. Gorbis, oh boy. What is better? It's an earthquake. It'd be funny if like, oh, there was an earthquake and then the, T the TM earthquake fell. <laughs> I feel like Ditch Sturdy could be an emote. I feel like you're right. <laughs> it comes oh, out would be often a... enough. That would be a good emote. Yeah. I don't know, like... I'm not sure how you would just... It would Maybe need like a to be, yeah, it would need to be like something that like really commonly oh, has think, it, and then like it like I, a like a troll version of that kind of thing. I think I, I I know what it could work. It's like it's a geo dude, and at the bottom, like it has a, a, the health bar, like it's just a little small like green the red, and it just has a sliver of red on the left to under it. Hmm. I think that could work. Yeah, there's definitely something you could do though. Oh, Crawdon, that's his final Pokemon. Yeah. Wow, there is literally nothing in this building. Holy macaroni, this is not a good fight. Yeah, you weren't you weren't wrong when you said like they just, just yeah. didn't implement anything. Oh yeah, they did not want you, you to spend very long in there, evidently. Because the the whole point, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> was that since it was an earthquake, it broke a parts of the building. So it's like. Well, they yeah. stabilize here. That's cool. They like neutered it. It's so. Yeah, Geodude troll face. That's what I was thinking, Ryan. <laughs> I don't know how that would work. I mean, troll face uh, is so like lumpy anyway that it would kind of work really well. Yeah, I could probably uh, throw something together. I think I have an idea. That would be fun. What if this Crawdont used Sturdy in honor of this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, wait. There are some tiles here. Yo, right? I beat one. Yo, nice. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad. So I feel my hair got, like, darker between, like, playing. Because the overworld looks, like, way, like, darker red. While my, uh, in battles, like, a sharper bright red. Like, what happened? Um, I might just be imagining things. I'd have to catch up to you, but I don't think I'm gonna be seeing you for a while. Catch Level up with me? I mean, I have to catch up with you. 58? Holy moly, why is that such a big gap? Oh no, I think you're right. I think the, the I think this is the, the region where the, the Elite Four is really long. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh no, you should be coming to Zootopolis if you're at Sky Pillar. Yeah, I'm gonna be there soon. It's just like, it's gonna take a little bit. Just have to uh, see Rayquaza, say hi, he flies away, have no cutscene or anything, and then it'll be good. <laughs> uh, slightly disappointing, as I named my last vote. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was so underwhelming. I was just like, oh wow, they, they did not want to do anything with this entire endgame <laughs> cutscene. It's like, it's literally like, like, to me, it's a, one of the most iconic, like, Pokemon sort of game things. To me, at least. Compared yeah, to, like, I, I older gen. That. Because it's like, you're not expecting it. Especially because, like, older gen, you just had them in the overworld and they did little fun stuff here and there. But, like, having a full, like, cinematic, which is what that was, it, it was interesting and cool. And it's like, nope, we're not adding that. It's like, ugh. I don't think I've actually... It ruined all the charm. I don't think I've actually been around Zootopolis yet, because I'm pretty sure when I was here, uh, all the houses didn't open because of the weather thing. Did anyone ever find out... I'm in this one house in Zootopolis where there's like three trees in front of a staircase. Did anyone ever find out what was up with that? No idea. Because the NPC um, oh. in the house doesn't even mention it. I just realized, they made it so you can't even backtrack out of the tower, you have to literally fly at the top of the tower out. Yep. <laughs> because I, I literally... 
went down, tried to get a way out. Uh, nope. Yeah, you, you just loop back around. Ugh, God. Very I'm weird in the house where the two guys are like, can I see a really big C dot or a really big load head? And I'm like, here's my septile, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it sure is something, but it's not a C dot. No, it's wow, better. that 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 cutscene was worse than I thought. Yup, yup, it's pretty bad. At least make the like the the Groudon and the Kyogre shake a little and then They like, literally just pop out of existence off. and then Rayquaza just kind of floats upwards. Yeah. Rayquaza oh, does the uh, the poochie thing from The Simpsons. <laughs> I must return to my home planet. God, that's funny. All right, where are you? so you're in uh, Zootopolis now then? Yes, I am. And five magic carp just decided to welcome me. Okay. Um. All right. You know go. what? I actually now. think your hair looks the same from what I can tell. It does. I think it's because I see all these like. Oh, like I see uh, Archie or Maxi, I mean, I see his red, and then like it looks exactly the same in game, like for the. Maxi uh, here, huh? <laughs> well, oh right, you can't see them. Yeah. Yeah, I still see them here for some reason. All right, what are these guys gonna say? But yeah, they're like red, like very red, and match my uh, trainer sprite when I throw the ball, which is why yeah, I'm like sort of right. confused. Wait, 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 I, I think I just like this lady. Spring, summer, autumn, or winter. If you're born in springtime, do you like the spring? And you're born in the summer, do you like summer? Uh, no one likes summer. You can't convince me. <laughs> who do I talk to? Do I talk to you, Steven? Wait, what do I do now? Oh, what's this, Ryan? Uh, the house is for the e-reader stuff, so this feature is oh, being implemented. Oh, I have to talk to him. The thing is, he didn't even have any dialogue. I literally, like, I spoke to the guy in there, and he didn't even mention... It, but e-reader would make sense. Yeah, they re really wanted that to work. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the e-reader thing. It was very um cryptic. Right, I'm doing the gym. All right, I think I remember. Yeah. See, these puzzles are always fun. I always love these. Does my swampert have earthquake? Because that might actually be worth buying. His Earth Power. I feel like Earthquake is a lot better. For Swampert, which I is did, not a special attacker? Yeah. I just did this puzzle in, like, first go. I remembered it exactly. It's a pretty satisfying one to get done, too. Like, you do it and you feel big brain for a minute. Or at least I did. Yeah. yeah it really is. It's really nice. <clears throat> and it's unique. I never see any fan games do anything with it, either. I feel like Ice Beam would be good to have, too. I don't know if anything can actually learn that, but... Alright. We're taking it down, Juan. I remember having a couple of the cards and not having a fucking clue what to do with them. I did not have the reader. I don't... Was the reader, like, a widely released thing? Because I don't even remember it being an option. Yeah, the reader, I think, was Japan only. Oh, it was. That's kind of what uh, I Maybe? Figured. I think it was. That does sound about right. It does sound like the kind of like ambitious thing they'd go for release in Japan, and then that'd probably be about as far as it went. Yeah, I'm, I might have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh my god, really? Wish Cash? Uh -huh, like, super effective move on me? Okay, um. Well, I know. I know Magical Magnism? Leaf, like, really bailed me out earlier, but I feel like God of War having an ice move would actually probably be really beneficial. Because that's the yeah. type I don't have, and obviously this is... These are the gens where Dragon is only weak to ice, so... And other dragons, but... Aha! Get sturdied. That never works. Well, I had sturdy uh, who, Who's getting sturdied? I have sturdy. Oh, I need so I else. used it on uh, Wishcast, so my Magnazone has it. Uh, I'd like to use the uh, the medicine to back at them. I gotta say, I should have been using this PlayStation control a long time ago. This actually feels a lot better for this game. <laughs> All right, uh, he took out two of my electric mons, so that's fun. Uh, go Snorlax. I think you could take him. Oh my god, I forgot Drake existed. Who the f who who is Sydney? 
Uh, Drake. So, He's the captain. Sydney is the the fire. It wasn't that the fire head guy. Yeah, he was like the weird like. He, he, fire. He usually not fire. He he looks fire. Oh, okay. Um, he's on his knee, I think. Yeah, mohawk dude. Yeah. Not ringing a bell, honestly. Dark type, right? Dark. Wait, why Very, would uh, ice beam be good against him then? Come on, Zen Headbutt. I know you can do this, Snorlax. Kingdra isn't that bad with you, against you. Yeah, I hate being that guy, but I really don't want to fight any of the wild Pokemon in the seas, so I'm just going to... Do Hammer Arm. ...repel my whole way through. Same with the Victory Road. Oh, I have to teach something Waterfall. Yep. I hate the HMs in this region. <laughs> 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 There's too many. Um, I'm gonna go get like some some fodder Pokemon to add to my team then for Waterfall. Right, let me heal up here. Let's relax. Let's use a Hyper. No, not Hyper. Uh, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Technically speaking, though, if my, if my Swamp has a physical attacker, Waterfall would actually be more useful for it than stuff, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm so. pretty sure waterfalls are really strong. I think I remember using that on my Gyarados once, and because like my comments, I didn't, I didn't used to like when people would try to help me, but I remember my comments being quite persistent on like, no, you should, and then I did, and it was actually a good idea. <laughs> um, I'll get rid of dive. I don't need dive anymore. Oh, you can, yeah, you yeah, can the, replace H. Yeah, the flinch, right? Yeah, flinch is good to have. If that, I, I always. HMs are the things I always forget. Like I just teach them and then I forget about them. Where is the move deleter in Gen Three? I don't remember. I need to get rid of dive because I don't need oh, anymore. No idea. I'm gonna Google it. <clears throat> I'm I think you can. It. So here's the here's the thing. I don't. I've. I, it depends on what you can do because I know you can remove some HMs in this game. At yeah, I already times. tried. It wouldn't let me get rid of dive. Where are you at right now? Now. Yeah. Uh, I was in the Pokemon Center in uh, Lily, not Lily Cove, Moss Deep. Well, did you did you try to delete it while you were in the Poke Center? Yeah. How about if you're out of the Poke Center? Why would that make a difference? Because I was able to do it differently in a different location for some reason, as well as I was able to teach it. No. Uh, an, a, a, I think it was also it depends on if it's another HM you're teaching it or another TM. I'm not sure. See, I but think I it know might there just was a depend weird depend on the HM because literally during this stream, like probably no more than like twenty minutes ago, I got rid of um, Rock Smash, which is an HM. Right. Uh, but at the same time, it won't let me get rid of Dive. I don't know what's up with that. It's okay. I'm at the move to Leader's house anyway. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, sounds good. All right. It's, uh, Ryan, I, actually, I was talking about this uh, earlier, literally starting Ugh. the stream with this, and I feel like you might remember. I know it was about 10 years ago, but do you remember if I actually finished my Pokemon Emerald playthrough back in, like, 2014? I'm pretty sure it was about 2014. It might have been 13, because it was around the time I was uh, overseas. It was like one of the like three things I remember doing a playthrough of when I was in the US, because I really was not ever settling in <laughs> to, to like regularly doing anything over there. I remember I did not very regularly make content at that point in time. But I can't remember if I finished my Emerald playthrough. I don't think I did. I have no recollection of finishing it, and obviously it's long since been deleted. Something I will not be doing anymore going forward. I will not be taking any more of my playthroughs down. I started like yeah. getting that urge again recently. I was like, man, I could do my Pokemon Violet playthrough so much better these days. I was like, no, that's like a year old. Stop. <laughs> yeah, it's just better to just leave it, let it go. It's yeah. like, if you do revisit it, you'll have two playthroughs. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. That's how, that's how I view it. You can like, or I could just do like uh, Scarlet. It could be a good excuse to do Scarlet. Exactly. Do the same game, but like the other one. 
Where am I? Oh, I think I went too low. Pretty sure you didn't. No, I didn't think I did either. So I think I might have just found a cheese strat against uh, against him. I'm using a fly, and usually when I use fly, they are either swapping out their mon to another mon, or they're using like rest for some reason. And so I'm essentially a guaranteeing a hit because I my deli bird moves faster than what seems to be most of their team so far. So I'm always getting a hit in, and they're always doing something that takes up that time. Hmm. AI is a little uh, dumb, it feels like. Um. Oh, barely not there. This Wolverine has no sleep talk. So I need to look talking. up what's available here because there are a lot of trainers at Evergrande City. I want to know what they're all like looking for. Because uh, I don't really remember there being anything special at Evergrande. Not so grand. It's not even a city. <laughs> it's literally a Pokemon Center, a huge cave, and then the Elite Four, like, uh, what do they call that? I wonder what it was named in, um, Japanese. Because it might have not just been had a city, it's just, like, probably the localizer, like, we're gonna make it called a city. Okay, the people here are either fishing for, because they're all fishing, they're either looking for a Corsola, a Love Disc, or a Whalema. Love Disc. They're looking for a uh, heart, heart scales. Heart scales, you're right. <laughs> as soon as you said love this card, Penny dropped. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Okay. And plus, uh, clam pearls, they have good items to drop as well because you get those uh, the, the, those pearl things you mentioned about that one dude. Oh, clam pearls. At that one, one house. Oh, I, thought you, well, I thought you said clam pearl. No, okay. it was um, love disc. Uh... I forgot already. Corsola and Corsola. Um Whalmer. Whalmer, okay, that's why I missed it as my bro. I remember Wally bumping into you in this cave and I feel like I remember him being insane. Yeah, he was. Oh boy. Here we go. Imagine like they decided, you know, oh, we're gonna make Wally a little even more strong. We're gonna give him a mega glade. Oh, they did something pretty awful. They gave him an Altaria. Oh, nice. Oh, I, I still remember Winona's. <laughs> I don't want another one. <laughs> oh, good. An Altaria with leftovers. That's awesome. This Walrein with leftovers is being a pain. Yeah, I might have to... Uh, I just lost here, it looks like. So I'm, I have to re... Uh, go back to the scratch board here. Figure out what I gotta do here. <clears throat> so let me check my PC here. I must admit, First having good. just gotten into the, uh, Victory Road in this region, I actually like something about all the bridges was like, oh, I do kind of remember this one. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think oh, any other Victory Road had this many bridges in it. <laughs> no, I think this one's fairly short. I don't think this one's very long. Which is oh, not is okay. good if that's the case, because uh, I, if the level cap is anything to go off of, uh, 58 is roughly what we should be aiming to be by the time we're at the league. Let's see, what do I have in my bag here? So I have gonna, an Eevee here that's pretty high level that I could use, but I want to evolve it. I'm going to tell you this now, uh, for viewers, chat, everyone, everyone, Elizarin, I'm putting this on record. Uh, I'm going to attempt the league once with my team, and if it goes anything like the Johto attempt went, where I got creamed by the first guy, uh, the Johto team's coming back out for the league. <laughs> I'm busting them out again. That's my champion team. Can I, I forget, did they ever incorporate, like, more... That's odd. Evolution ways, or oh, like for Eevee, let's see. Or for like with stones, I mean. Let me look at my Pokédex here. Eevee. Well, some people like doing the Moonstone, Sunstone thing, don't they? Yeah. Evolution tree. Here we go. 
Uh, right, no, those were daytime happiness. Uh, Glaceon, Eveon, I mean, Eveon, what? Alephion are, uh, locations. Now what's going uh, on? Flareon wouldn't be that good. Vaporeon wouldn't be that good against him. Oh my, what a, what a face-off we got here. I mean, I could do an Espeon. I kind of forgot. Oh my god, it finally benefited me! I am the one <laughs> freezing the opponent. Finally. Yeah, let me do that. I'm gonna do, uh, see if I can get Espeon. Let me give it a smooth bell. He thought out in one time. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Uh, Glade, by the way. He has a Glade. I kind of forgot that that's the way they went with him. Um, who's holding my Soothe Bell? He's not been too bad so far, actually. I'm going to say Wally has been okay. Did I sell my Soothe Bell? I hope, oh, I hope I didn't. Isn't it untradeable? Oh, you might be able to sell like in game still though. I might have sold it. Hopefully, I didn't, but I think I did. You cannot do that now. Oh, I got sturdied without sturdy again. <laughs> Why is this happening so many times today? Let me just take all these items here. I uh. Yeah. Same. I have been fake studied, I think, three times so far in 50 minutes. That's impressive. <laughs> that is impressive. All right, I might have to just buy a suit, though. How much one do you have? 26? Um, well, if you hold on a second, I might just be able to give you mine, because I don't need it. If you do, that'd be awesome. I um, just want to get rid of this Dell Caddy. Who the hell uses a Dell Caddy this late into the game? <laughs> what are you doing? Let's give my Rocky helmet to someone. I'm gonna be real. I don't know if I just got really lucky, but Wally was a total pushover compared to the gym that just came before him. I used one revive, and it was only because he was sending out a Magnezone, and I was like, yeah, I might as well bring back Blaziken. I didn't need to. I still had other things. I just thought Blaziken would make it a little, a little easier for the time being. Uh, let's yeah, see. That's Soothe fair. Bell. Um, yeah, I can. Uh, let me let me let me get down to you. Where are you? All right. Uh, I think we could actually just trade in person here, or not person. In uh, since we're in a group here, let's see. Maybe. Uh, community, right? Yeah, friends. I can invite to link. Let's see if there's. Yeah, we could do that. I guess. I don't think it really makes a difference. I did send you an invite to link. Oh, there he is. I don't really think that's going to make much of a difference, though. No, I don't think no. so either. I'm going to block this user from contacting me. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to actually go towards you. Otherwise, the only thing I can really do is use GTS, but then someone else might buy it. Right, uh, right, right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm currently in the uh, Poke Center. Yeah, so I was going to head out anyway, because I did need to revive after Wally, but I'm going to tell you, he is he is just not that bad. I've never been less afraid of Wally in my whole life. Uh, there we are. There we go. I'll give you something, because why not? Um, I want what do $3. I have here? What do you want? $3. <laughs> I'll give you something better. $3. I could have just mailed it to him. All right. That's who. Yeah, I want to give you something though. What's something that you really like? Um. <laughs> Suddenly, I can't think of a single thing I enjoy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll give you something that's really special. Here. Don't use it all in one area. Okay, I'm listening. If, if I can. Oh, wait, I'm dragging in the wrong thing. Oh, it's not tradable. Ugh. Yeah, there's a lot of items that are limited to that. 
Alright, here, I'll do this one. One, yes. There you go. What is that? <laughs> Quick claw. Thanks. I have two already, so. <laughs> well, it's another one of those items we're going to get one of in every single region. Yeah. It, it makes your mom go faster, so it's like, yeah, it's useful. Alright, uh, I just... Let me just, uh, oh wait. Ah, uh, of course, I removed them on that head surf. Yeah, I don't know if that's a rule you're gonna go by as well, but I absolutely stand by. Uh, if the league is just too high of a level, I am busting out the Johto champs once again. Yeah, I, I usually just, like, I play around, move team, uh, mons in and out. If I, need I mean, to. I feel like that was what we had mentioned wanting to do anyway, was like having like an all-star kind of team. I, I want to, end. but it's like, it, it, and yeah, at the end, like I'll probably just pick one from every sort of thing that was like a staple. I feel like I've had a staple on every single gen so far. It's just that for the most part, like some mods I just swap out if they're not doing so well. Hmm. I mean, at the moment, but, I wouldn't want to take anything out of my PC because for my other teams, they're all in like their 50s, so they're still a little too high compared to my current team. And obviously, I want to give my current team a fair shot at potentially showing their worth. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> sound, sound like, um, is it Silver from uh, Gen 2? The, the, the items cannot the, replace the rival. Yeah. I'll just use Swagger and replace... I feel like uh, he's the kind of guy that would be like, oh, it's going to show its worth. Yeah, so you can replace a, an HM with a TM, but you can't replace an HM with an HM. That is absurd. Yeah. There's, like, no reason for that. It has to be, like, some sort of limitation. Okay, this cable... Right. Why? Why do you do this? I don't have any other cables. Come on, man. Let me try going back to my source control and see if that's... Wait, does this guy not have any attacks? Oh, okay. I guess my PlayStation controller just has a really bad USB port. I think that's actually why I don't... I right, know. Maybe not? But yeah, I'm probably going to eventually buy more stuff that like are, is Bluetooth enabled for my things. It's, I'm getting sick of like cords. Cables. Yeah, same right now. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think this one's going to work either. In fact, I think this one just... What is happening? At least... Yeah, I think my Xbox... I don't... I'm losing my mind right now. <laughs> I'm just uh, battling some magic weapons. Oh my god, that guy, that person over there on the right has the cutest hat. It's like a crowbat hat. It's, it's, a, it's like a little smile thing. Oh my god, it just turns into a clown. I do not like that. <clears throat> All right. I guess I'll just go back to my old, my old controller that I stopped using because the D-pad's really spongy. That I'll have to do. Actually, let me look and see. Are, do we have any new items in the uh, shop? Let's see. So oh, for some reason, right? Get a, get a load of this. I'm gonna. I want. I want to complain for a minute. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Let's hear it. <laughs> uh, my cable. Um, my old cable has like completely loosened. It just slips out of like any mm -hmm. USB port. And then this one, uh, that's even older, uh, is still fine, but um, uh, for some reason, like the, the, cause I, this is why I hate micro USBs. Um, they get like wobbly. I find this happens over time. Like the actual USB port itself kind of comes loose from, you know, plugging and unplugging, I suppose. As you mentioned before, right. and um, yeah, it was like really wobbly. So like it would it would like d disconnect if I moved around with this cable, um, or maybe it was just the ports. I don't know. So I've gone back to using this old Power A Xbox One controller I bought a while back, which is a really nice one actually. Uh, just it's got the same problem as the Switch Pro controller, where the D-pad feels kind of spongy. 
Um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that has rem th that one. The thing I like about those ones, I will say, is they have like the sunken in uh, USB where like it kind of f perfectly fits in, so it can't be wobbled. Um, so that's that's eliminated that problem. But man, that's annoying. Also, you're not gonna believe this. What? You need flash in this game. <laughs> oh my god. god. I get it, Gen 3. You love HMs, but give it a rest. You should not be getting made to have flash on your team at this point in the game. No way is there a reason for that. I'm really beginning to go into, uh, think of going into the gift shop and just buying all the <laughs> the uh, ocarinas at this point. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that we're like over halfway through this, I'd agree. Yeah. They like, oh my god. That one is just absurd, though. We're in the vi we're in Victory Road. You don't need to be using <laughs> Flash. Oh man, so dumb. Like, I understand a little bit why, but it's also just annoying, like, we got rid of that, like, forever ago, we don't need to use them anymore, come on! PS4 controllers are notorious for loose connection to cables, is it the USB or the actual connection falling out? Well, that's the thing, is the first cable I was using, it was the cable just falling out, because I guess the little connectors have just kind of weakened over time. And then the second time, it was that the port on the controller was just very wobbly and if it like wobbled in the wrong direction it came loose I guess oh look sturdy <laughs> what a surprise oh lovely oh this is gonna be a lot of going in and out and healing by the looks of it I just realized this is probably why there's so many people in this water it's just easy EXP farming off these magic arps. Maybe, yeah. Um, Cause so that's what I'm basically doing. So glad PS5 went to USB-C. I'm glad everything switched to USB-C. Type C is a lot better. You know, can't wait to see what's uh, after USB-C since USB-C does have a, a few issues, but it's like generally it's it's a be uh. One that's gonna stay around for a little while. This controller keeps acting up. I'm gonna I'm gonna pair a Wiimote with my computer and use that instead. <laughs> I always thought you had to have like some kind of special adapter to connect the Wiimote to your computer, because I saw people like, you know, that emulate like Wii games and use Wii remotes. I didn't realize, literally, it just uses, like, basic Bluetooth pairing. Yeah, that, you can get a, um, the a Wii bar. That's what I got for, uh, Vin a while back to, for him to do that. And they're, like, 30 bucks. But you can also just, like, candles. Slightly modify. You can slightly modify your normal, uh, Wii bar. Because it's really, all it is, is just a, uh, a light detector. Yeah, yeah, it's just infrared. Mm -hmm. um, I was reading about it. Apparently, a really easy solution, which is probably what I'd do, is just turn your Wii on, like an actual Wii. Just have a Wii on in the background, because it doesn't actually need to be paired with the console. For it, to right. it just has to be pointing at a sensor bar, so it knows where something is to react to. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. that's interesting. You could also use a candle. Yeah, yeah, the candles work too. You do need two candles, and they have to be like kind of nicely positioned. Um, mm -hmm. So, in a way, I think for me, uh, just having like the Wii U on, because I always have my Wii U plugged in. I still have it set up and plugged in. Just turning it on in the background, that would then make that work. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't think the ones that you can connect to the PC are very expensive either. Yeah, I think the one I bought for a uh, bot firm was like thirty bot like thirty dollars. I think it wasn't much. It was like really quick. I think they're probably even cheaper now because it's like how abundant they are and how easy they are to sell. Yeah. <sighs> I've wasted another move slot on Flash. 
So that's great. PC. So glad that my Bennett now we knows are. Flash. That changes everything. <laughs> oh, you need Rock Smash too. Oh yeah, you're gonna need them all. Uh, oh yeah, uh, you can buy a, a PC Wii bar for like like twelve dollars on Amazon. Looks like. Yeah, that's not nine dollars on nine dollar on Amazon. Yeah, they're they're really cheap. Probably buy an even cheaper one off of like AliExpress or something. Actually, no, AliExpress is it's twenty six. So. Oh really? Wow, that is yeah surprising. Target is nine ninety nine. I don't want Rock Smash. Oh, I don't eBay want to has waste a, any slot. E yeah, eBay has a nice one. Uh, Four thirty five. Okay, so you say you can replace an HM with a TM, right? Yes, I I just replaced it with like Swagger I had. That was like a nonsense move. I'm gonna teach my Sceptile Swagger over Cut because you're definitely not gonna need Cut in this cave. Yeah. And then I'm gonna replace Swagger with Rock Smash. That worked. You are yeah a genius. <laughs> it's a bit really dumb, but I mean I think it's because of how they treat HMs more like items, so it's technically being treated as like a specific item slot, I guess. You can't replace an item with another item, I don't know. It's something, like a core mechanic that's having an issue with. I agree with you, Ryan. I like that Flash doesn't even light up half the fucking screen, too. That is... Yeah! So cool! I hate it. <laughs> Not only do I have to move. waste the slot on my moves, but it also it isn't works. very useful. <laughs> Man, they could have improved this. They didn't have to keep it this way. It didn't have to be that true to the source material. I don't even know if it's even that true to the source material in the first place for that. I swear, like, I, I remember Flash being so like, oh, it expands really big. I think it was probably the same as it is in this. It's just that obviously this is like a widescreen zoomed out perspective. Yeah. It probably on like a regular Game Boy Advance screen filled the whole screen pretty much. Right. So what is my Eevee's uh, friendship level at right now? Ice Beam. That's a great move for a Claydol to have. 20%. Okay. Try not to radical red where it just turns on if you have the HM just lights everything. No, that's too yeah. convenient. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, see, see now you know, that's like that's too that's, that's too convenient to the consumer. We need to make it so they have to go through the menu, click it once, twice, they're good to go. No, no, no. No I automatic really, stuff. My my favorite thing about uh Flash is uh Gen 1, where you can miss it. That, you can just yep. not go through Diglett Cave and see that one guy, and then you're like, w w what do I do? My other favorite thing is, um, in Pokemon Yellow, you can use Pikachu to keep on talking to it, you know, keep on lighting up the, uh, the, the map, like, every, like, a few frames. I did so you don't that. need to get Flash. Yeah. Technically, you don't need to get Flash, but it's still, you know, it's still a little challenge. But you can use that to, like, cheap through it and not use Flash. Oh my god, you know what? I just remember talking about Gen 1 Flash. There was a, a, a game I played a long time ago. It's still up on the channel. Um, it was, like, it was Pokemon 898 is what it was called. It was a randomizer that had oh. uh, all of the, I think it was eight gens at that point in time. Yeah, nine mm. was now. Yeah, it was all eight. Oh, 898. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. Now, yeah. Um, all eight regions randomized. Uh, you know, updated moves and stuff and types and all that. And that was uh very interesting because there was a lot of Pokemon I was seeing that I had never seen before, so I didn't know what they were. Um, <laughs> uh, I believe that was the first time I saw the. Uh, I'm assuming it's the Hisuian Corsola. Cursula, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, Cursula. No, it's not Hisuian. That was a uh, scar uh, Sword and Shield. Oh, okay. I must. I, I hadn't played Sword and Shield at that point, I'm pretty sure. 
or I had and I just not seen one in the entire playthrough. It was one of the two because I remember being very confused by its existence. I was like, what is this? And that was the yeah. starter I got. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a nice one. I like that one. But um, the randomizer, one thing they hadn't taken into account was um, in order to get like the flash HM, you have to have caught 10 Pokemon, right? Right. But they had the catch that was 10 Kanto Pokemon. So I oh, couldn't <laughs> get Flash because I was playing a randomizer with eight regions. <laughs> so I, could, <laughs> I hadn't seen or caught 10 Kanto Pokemon. And I had to, I remember I got to Rock Tunnel. And I think that's the final stream of that game. I think I either gave up or I got through it and then I stopped. It was one There's of the one two. randomizer I always like swear by. It's an older one. It's for uh, Pokemon Emerald, where it, you can have it randomize the mons, their types, and if you select the option, you can randomize the color of the mon to match the new types they have. So, oh, interesting. Essentially, yeah, it's a, honestly it's it's an older one. People don't really ever cover it anymore because it's so old at this point. But it does do everything like most mo uh, modern randomizers do. And it's really fun. And so it's like, I'm always bummed, like, people don't do that mechanic anymore. And I think some people are trying to get it to happen in modern gens, like randomizers. But it's like, with how it, how they do it, they work, you know, like how I've talked before, like certain trainers share palettes. It's about modifying the palettes and matching them to the types. But it, that's hard to do, especially in modern games, because... The palettes themselves aren't exactly specific to certain things. There's more color variety, so it's hard to do compared to older gens. But I, I honestly would, like, that's one I sort of want to revisit. Like, I tried doing that in the past. Like, I had a playthrough. It was, like, called Pokemon, uh, like, it was, like, Pokemon Randomized Emerald, like, Rainbow or something like that. I made, like, a whole logo and all that. And it was really cool, but, yeah, it's... It's something that I wish like more randomizers had because it would be more fun because if you're used to playing like Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you already know all the Pokemon stuff. You want to change it up a little bit. You randomize their types and sometimes if you don't know the type chart that well, you can just go with the, the color changes because usually the, the colors will match what the type color is. So if they're blue, usually they're going to be either water type or dragon type, stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, I did something sort of similar a really long time ago. I played an emerald randomizer, but I didn't do that color thing you were describing, but I did randomize yeah. their types, and I've never quit a randomizer so fast <laughs> in my life. Yeah, that's that's definitely, like, it can definitely hurt you if you don't know the type chart well, or like, oh man, is it, you're just, this name, not a very effective, it's not fun. But yeah, it's like with that helpfulness of like, oh, you see the colors, you can say, all right, this guy is probably a dragon, whatever, and you work around that. So, and I think you could, the randomizer even had an option where you can actually select the specific type of color to match each type. I'm not sure. That could just be a mismemory. Okay. But yeah. Well, I'm going deeper down into Victory Road. Ooh, nice. There's an even lower floor I forgot about. Wonder what's down there. Uh, more trainers. Ah. Uh, I wish there was a poker radar in this so I could see like what was available in each I area. If there was anything like worth going for. I think there technically is, but yeah, it's not like that. You know what? I'll just look it up. Cause that that's not really I mean, we don't have rules, we're just playing the game, but that's, if there was a rule, yeah. I don't think that would be, really be against it. Victory Road. Wow, Hoenn is the top result when you go to write in Victory Road in the Pokemon Wiki. Makes sense, because a lot of people would be... Oh, I think I just screwed up. Oopsies. Um, Because, like, it's, like, the first one, so most people, like, searched it. And, wow. yeah. There is nothing yeah, interesting in this game at all. Well, I guess I'll battle all these trainers down here. This so here's good. what you can find inside of uh, Hoenn's Victory Road. Geodudes? dudes. Uh, walking uh, around, you can find uh, Zubat, uh, Golbat, ooh, nice. Uh, nice, and Hariyama. 
Ooh, Harry Owl must be decent. Uh, I think that's where I, where I caught it. If you're surfing, you can catch Golbat. Ooh. <laughs> and they also what about if you use uh, hmm? well, use lures? Yeah, I was gonna say, and if you're uh, dealing with a horde or a law, you can find um, Golbats. <laughs> if you're surfing, you can find Golbats and uh, also Gold Duck. That's it. That's all that's in this entire cave. Wow, that is that's depressing. The Zubat Goldbat Hariyama Gold Duck Cave rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, it's like a Pokemon wrap. Yeah, sure. <laughs> What's down there? Sturdy is down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I think you can go through sword without seeing Corsola Cursor because Alistair has it and only a gym leader in shield. Do you know what's funny? Um, I know I did a Pokemon sword playthrough a few years back. Um, uh, I would love to revisit that, by the way. Because um, obviously that's not on this channel. Uh, but, like... I wanted shield... And this is not me like being like an entitled little crybaby, I swear. Because <laughs> like, I know this might come off. I wanted Shield. I really liked the looks of the box legendary. I think there was some good exclusives in Shield, if I remember right. I was way more interested in Shield, but I got Sword as a present for like Christmas. And I was like, you know, obviously it's, I'm thankful for it. And I still enjoyed it because right, right. it's just a few Pokemon. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, but yeah, I always wanted Shield between the two. I didn't really like uh, the box legendary for sword. Didn't quite. Something about it having a big shield main versus it being a dog with a sword in its mouth. <laughs> Just <laughs> one felt a lot cooler than the other. Yeah, I've always I like the the sword one the most. But oh, I mean, fair like, enough. Like I just sort of liked it because like the shield one looked like it looked so like cumbersome like he couldn't really move a big shield on his neck like to me that's what i my mind went to it's like yeah it's not yeah it almost reminds me of like a dog of a cone around his head <clears throat> oh fair enough see i like that one because i thought wow that's got a lot of character it's like a big shield man. yeah that's fair but then like yeah. the, the 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 sword one i was like it's he's literally just carrying a sword in his mouth like they they couldn't have implemented a sword anywhere on his design he had to just be holding one in his mouth <laughs> i think you'd uh what did you think of the um what's its name uh, was it chin pao it's it's the leopard in um the newest one, Scarlet Violet. Leopard. Yeah, like the white leopard with the uh the t large teeth. Um, I'm not remembering this. Here, let me uh send you an image of it. It'll be real quick. Uh oh yeah, what year is? I like to imagine that this is just like some kind of like gaslighting exercise that Pokemon fans are <laughs> no, no, no. on. This is not a real <laughs> Pokemon, but everyone says it is, and you're now seeing if I'm in on it. Ah, uh, where is it? Uh, Chin Pao. I was close with the name. Ditch didn't do the ruins mods. Mons. Ah, uh, right. Here, I'll post it. No, I just played the base game. I mean, I like really thoroughly tried to explore it because it had a. All right, there it is in uh, Discord. Well, it uh, had a big chat. world. I wouldn't really say it had a very great world. I don't really like big open world games because I feel like they never know what to fill a lot of the space with. Um, but yeah, I think that would probably uh, satisfy you because of what you yeah, said about the cool. whole sword. Because it has the teeth are like swords themselves. Yeah. No, I, I definitely didn't see that, by the way. I don't recognize that at all. Yeah, it's one of the uh, four legendaries that you could uh, do if you do a whole bunch of quest stuff. It was really cool. Yeah, stakes and all that. It was really cool little quest thing. Come on, Eevee. Use your trump card. Oh my god, I sturdy them. But I didn't actually have sturdy. I just have 1 HP. I remember trying to finish the decks in um, 
it was the same thing that's happened in like the last like three Pokemon games, including Vinemon actually. Uh, I wanted to finish the decks in Gen 9 and I played it a little bit off screen and then I was like, ah, I got too many other things I want to do and I stopped. Yeah, I don't really ever do like dex completion and stuff. Like I just collect the ones that I think, oh, that looks cool. I'll do I that. And I always yeah. want to and then I always give up like 70% in. I think I might do that uh, when I play Pokemon Fusion. I'll collect them all. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. I mean, uh, oh seeing that one NPC that I spoke to that was like, you know, oh, I'll reward you if you just catch all of the base Pokemon in the game. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I mean, yeah, I might. That sounds more reasonable since it isn't every single Pokemon and it's a very slim selection in the first place. Well, not slim. But I, think I, said it was, like, I think the NPC said it's 490, so it's three short of yeah. how many there were in the first four gens. Yeah, Gen 4, basically. So, I mean, that's, that's a reasonable amount. So, would be fun to do. Basically, we'll just go through every route, catch every single one in every single route, and uh, go about it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the radar's right there to make it easier. and um, Because you can find fused versions of them in the wild, that also makes them easier to find the rarer ones, as we've seen yeah, the Gengar and Mischievous, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely makes some of that way easier to come across. Also, what do you mean the Goldfish Mon? Oh, the, uh, oh, what's his name? Chin, Chin Fu? Chin Fu? You're not talking about the little the, the, sushi guy, are you? No, no, it's, a, it's the other legendary. It's like Fire oh, it's Rock? Oh, legendary, right. Yeah, it's one of the, uh, the four. Let me see. Uh, Chi Yu, that's what it is, Chi Yu. Yeah, I'll post that in uh, Discord for you to see as well. You saying that Pokemon's that one I like. game reminds me of uh, one Pokemon that I don't see anyone talk about that I think is really cool, which is um, the... I don't even know how to say their names. The, the like, fighting-type, like, things from um, Gen 5. Sock and throw? No, fuck no. <laughs> no, I hate <laughs> I mean, those two. <laughs> Uh, is it <laughs> oh, uh, Mian, Mian Fu or whatever it's called? Oh, Mian Fu, yeah, yeah. I really like it, those. They're okay. They're the competitive likes them, but I don't. Oh, I just like the look of them. I don't really know if they're actually any good or not. Yeah, they're basically yeah. Uh, those uh, the four legendaries are based. They're based off the the trade things. It's it's not really a a, a theory per se. It's it's more pulled from the actual like origins of like Spain and like what uh like China sending over like goods and stuff like that and I think it's tied sort of to the silk uh, the silk trade stuff and uh the real world it's really cool no that no it's not Burton Ernie it's, uh, <laughs> I think he was trying to guess what I was trying to yeah um, that that was my sock and throw that's that's Burton Ernie I mean that is Burton Ernie it is Thank you, Sableye, for using your red card and destroying my Sceptile. Thank you so much for that. Alright, killed an Azumarill. Oh, Skarmory. And I'm about to kill a... That's exciting. Wait. Hyper Beam. Oh, I know. I know, I think I said the name wrong. Azumarill I killed. I killed. Azumarill is out now. I'll use yeah, I remember fighting an Azumarill, like, in this stream and thinking, why is there an Azumarill this late in the game? It's because, yeah, it's just because this trainer has all three evolutions. I didn't even notice. I wasn't paying enough attention to notice that. Yeah. Oh, Skarmory, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Sableye Renando. <laughs> I hit the Skarmory first with Thunderbolt. It had Sturdy, and then it used Brave Bird. Dirty. <laughs> Only did like 50 HP of damage to Gardevoir, and then the recoil finished it off. Yep. That is so unfortunate for you. Is this... This is a different waterfall to where I was, just was, right? Yeah, fuck. God, I hate this cave. <laughs> Uh, 
Why is this lady's name in all caps? Call trainer how Howley. I'm gonna try using ice beam. I wanna freeze some more. I'm getting studied like crazy right now. I can't believe how much this is happening. I mean, it's it's, it's called Pokemon Mo Sturdy Edition for a reason. It sure is. That's the subtitle that they they have in like small text. Yeah, it's like it's you have to read the fine print. Do you think my Vibrava will evolve by the time I finish Gen Three? I think so, honestly. Uh, if I do get a flag on, it's going to be right near the very end, and probably not as useful as I'd like it to be. I knew you guys would like the uh, the Rave Sableye <laughs> emote. Such a good emote. Sometimes I see emotes and I'm like, I'm not sure how that would work. But I think because I'm not a very active emote user myself. And then mm -hmm. I see people using it. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Can't wait for Sinnoh where there's a lot of Geodudes. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun. I, I have very fond memories of Sinnoh. Except I for when I try to do a... Uh, except when I try to do a, a fire type only run. That wasn't very fun. There aren't. <laughs> what fire types did you use? <laughs> gym char, <laughs> and then I stopped because the first gym was a rock type. Oh yeah, that'll do it. I I also try like that was I was trying to do a fire type only, um, and then I was like, okay, no, th there's not many fire types, so why don't I just make it even like even harder for fun? So I tried to do uh, first stage only gym char. And try to beat the game of Chimchar by himself. Oh no! Um, <laughs> yeah, I never got. I I got my Chimchar to like level thirty and could not defeat a Rourke at I all. I did not realize you were such a nihilist. <laughs> yeah, uh. that that was my end of my nihilism at that point. <laughs> that was so bad. I was like thirteen while I'm trying to do this. And I'm like, I, I see all these challenge videos online or whatever. I don't even know how I got started this. I think I saw it. Like, this was when I was in more so the Pokemon Fusion sort of, like, like community on DeviantArt. And I'm like, I'm not even sure how I even learned about, like, challenge run stuff. But I'm like, I want to do this. I want to challenge myself. I want to do a Chimchar only run. I think it's because I saw someone say, oh, I, d I defeated all of... Uh, Sinnoh with a Bidoof and got the champion of Bidoof only. So I think that's probably what happened. I was like, yo, he can do a Bidoof, I'm gonna do a Chimchar. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, that was not fun at all. Because I was grinding hours upon hours to get my Bidoof, I mean, get my uh, Chimchar to just defeat the first gym. I never did. <sighs> I gave move. up. Uh, escape rope out of here because I am in danger. <laughs> I think I'm almost finished with Victory Road. That's good, at least. I'm still at the gym. Perhaps my three hour ETA wasn't too far off. Also, I love what you just said there, Ryan. Fire type only means you're allowed to use Drift Blim, Steelix, and Lopunny like Flint. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, Flint. I don't know how Small Ant does that. God. Like, I understand, like, doing it for, you know, the content of, oh, I just did all this stuff, and I managed to go through this, and I'm like, I would just, like, if I would make it in, say, four gyms, and I take damage, well, I, and you have to restart and go through the full first four gyms again, I would just, oh, God, I would hate myself. Like, big time. Also, why sliding down these uh, the ice here? I spin. I don't think that's what happened in the original. I could say I can answer that question, but it's not really my bit. So. <laughs> All right. Um, Where let's go for. I need to go. I am so sick. You're gonna hate Victory Road. I want to tell you now. This place Actually, I is might, uh, frustrating uh, to get through. I might love it. You never know. Yeah, true. I mean, you can't avoid a lot of the trainer battles. They are like literally gatekeeping 
corners and they're all like just out of uh, flash range. Mm. So you will have to deal with quite a lot of trainers. That's fair, that's fair. Um, uh, <clears throat> of course you need uh, really wide HM coverage. Uh, yeah, it's always annoying, but you know. What you gotta do. There sure are a lot Please of trainers. Please forgive me, Joel. Joel? Joel who? <laughs> I thought Joel you said, Mama. Please forgive me, Joel. I was like, who's Joel? Oh, no, I said Juan. That's what the trainer said. I'm like, geez, man, you lost and now you want forgiveness from your, like, the gym leader? Man, how bad is he? You should beg for forgiveness from Joel, too. You know what? Nah, I'll, I'll just throw him into lava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know whose idea that was. Actually, that wasn't my idea. Actually, I don't even know whose idea was that. Was that? It's the wind straight son. Oh, this is him. Watch him be a bigger pushover than the rest of his family. I didn't read his dialogue at all. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> his name is Vito. That's a cool name. I veto that name. Minus two. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, I was like deciding, like, should I minus two that? Mm, sure. What is my Eevee's happiness right now? Should be relatively decent at this point. Yeah, Why are you still at taking, 20? Really? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't remember it taking that long, but then you go and I'm, say 20. Never mind. I, like, I literally am, like, putting you in battle, and then taking you out and then uh, like we win and then what i just realized i said i was going to use an evolution in this in every region and then i didn't use one in this one and it's just now that it's dawned on me <laughs> i was like oh i'm gonna use one every region it'll be great i got to this region and just didn't even think about like buying one from the gts or breeding one or anything i just didn't get one yeah i actually did have this ev as a spare just in case you wanted one but eh. whoops <laughs> That was a tradition that I really wanted to start. I thought it would be really cool and fun. <laughs> yeah, wow, I did not commit to that. What would I have used, though? Uh... Leafion wouldn't have been useful because I have Sceptile. Vaporeon wouldn't have been useful because I have Swampart. Flareon wouldn't have been useful because I got Blaziken. So I already used Espeon. Uh, I don't think Glaceon would have been very useful in this region. I don't think Umbreon would have been that great either. Um, maybe... Maybe Jolteon? Maybe. I, yeah, maybe. You know... I don't really feel like I missed out, to be honest. It's fine. I was better than everyone in my family I've never lost before. I've lost my confidence. Maybe I'll go home. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, my God. You just killed that dude. I ruined him. He sounds devastated. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go home. That is heavy. <laughs> and it's all my fault. How okay. could you? Uh, useful side note, if you are trying to avoid trainers, when you reach an area in Victory Road where there's like a waterfall right as you come out, uh, if you got that waterfall, you can bypass that entire area. Oh, nice. There's loads of trainers and stuff all around, and you can just go around all of them. Because I, I didn't, and I just tried waterfalling to see like what was around there, and I was like, oh, it literally just connects around. You can fight the wind straight guy, he's in between the two waterfall things, and there's an item that I already forgot what it was. And that's it. Alright, I'll try to remember that. It's the only waterfall area in the whole cave, I'm pretty sure, so that should help narrow it down. Okay. Baton Pash over to... 
Also, was this right? I'm pretty sure they show a clip oh. of Steven just flattening Vito in the anime with Metagross. That guy gets no love. <laughs> <laughs> you just totally ball bust him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> his, his dialogue is surprisingly heavy. Like, oh, I guess I'm not that great. Maybe I should just go home. That is rough. It's a good thing most people, when they're younger, and even to this day, don't really talk to people after they beat them. To be fair, I, I a lot of, there's a lot of like in the community is always about like oh Wally and it's like, and how he, he's like a very sickly kid, and so it's like you defeating him and all that and that happening is like oh my god. <laughs> Seriously? Are, are you? Yeah. I didn't know he was. Especially sickly. early on. Yeah, it was like something within like a lot of the story and like why his uh, father wanted you to go, or uncle, or I think it was, uh, wanted to, you to watch him and help him go get better because he was always a shut in and all that. Oh no. <laughs> something like that. Hmm. Okay, I don't know whether to go this way or I'm gonna I'm gonna take the up ladder first. There's too many options being presented for different ways to go, to the point where I'm running out of repels. Stop your earthquake. It is raining. Wait, are you- where are you right now? Are you fighting Juan? Yeah. Is he giving you much trouble? Uh, one battle was annoying. And so I just started to do a little grinding here and there, and then took on some trainers below the ice. I think this no, is I'm the taking them on again. escape. I think I just found the exit. Nice. Oh, never mind. This guy just said the last stretch is so long. I feel like an <laughs> NPC saying that is a bad indicator. <laughs> Juan. Can you just not use items, please? You're going one on one with him, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha ha ha. Minus four. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's only four. I could have went higher. Yeah. You were lucky. This Vibrava has two more levels. I could just use some rare candies on it at this point, I guess. I mean, how far off is it? Uh, it would then match most of my team. Bennett would be a little behind, but I think Bennett levels faster than Vibrava. Cause I think no, Vibrava's... I didn't want to heal Eevee. God dang Vibrava is a slow leveler, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. But then again, I think well, Eevee, you're gonna have to maintain and all have to revive uh, Solax here. Oh, never mind. There is a huge XP discrepancy between these two. My Vibrava has 75k, my Bennett has 64, and they're both level 43. So yeah, Vibrava definitely takes longer. Um, I'll use a rare candy when it hits level 44, because it's only got 1,500 points until... Wait, you can just go behind that train. Yeah, I, I did find well. the exit. What? I think he was just talking about in past tense, of like, oh man, this last thing was horrible. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> you don't have to make excuses for him. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's just a liar. That too. Unless he means this double battle. There's two people behind him. Maybe he meant these two are just really strong. Yeah. Oh my god. These two guys. I can't I mean, them. the first thing one of them sent out is a slacking. So that doesn't give me very good feelings. Yeah. I, I still I wish remember Norman. Down. Yeah, Norman was definitely a uh, hassle. Oh wow, a slacking and a god of war. That is mom and dad yeah. right there. <laughs> Wants to let thunder. That's a good move. <laughs> Special. Um, I'll replace. It may. Re Crazy that Sidney leads with a 46 and Wallace leads with a 57. Well, thank you for the heads up. 57? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Yeah, that sounds that sounds fun. <laughs> uh, well, to be fair, Wallace is 
mostly water, so I mean, if you're running electric, you're pretty good. I've got a God of War with uh, Thunderbolt, and obviously I have Sceptile as Come well. On, live this, Snorlax. I, I believe in you. Ah, uh, Snorlax died. They Snorlax didn't change didn't his team? Himself. I don't think so, no. Well, at least not much. Oh. Jellybird, you can do this. Truant. Haha. <laughs> Full uh, restore. I'll do snowscape. Okay. Because, you know. Okie dokie. Wow, that is a very disobedient little, uh. little slacking you got there. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. So, fun fact about this battle, if you do it as a double battle, they actually try to skill swap Truant off of Slacking. It's one of the scariest non-ROM hack fights. Oh yeah, so the trainer in front is probably talking about this double battle, but they didn't incorporate Makes it sense. as a double battle, so it kind of messed it up entirely. It was a show to you, like, they didn't really care too much about the this whole region. Yeah, Hoenn <laughs> has really not felt that cared about. Considering it's the second region they added and it's been in this game for over 10 years, it's uh, yeah. very surprising how much they don't seem to have cared for this part of the game. I think it was all a right. big deal when they added it. I just don't think they've revisited it and revised it at all. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I think the only reason they probably revised Kanto was because Johto meant they had to, like, they, like, updated it to be kind of a combination of Gen 1 and Gen 2 Kanto. Right, right. Come on, Magazone, hit through confusion. Yes. All right, one more. I know you can do this, Magazone. King drove me down. It won't be an issue. Come on, hit through, hit through, hit through. Ah. Oh, another slacking. Interesting. So both members of this double battle had slackings. But one started with a slacking, and the other one had one as its second. Yes. Kingdra is down. So they got two mons left. I got three mons left. I think I might be able to do this. Giga Impact. Uh-oh. Genshin Impact was used on me. <laughs> oh my god, I just Should realized... I risk... <laughs> yeah, I'll risk it. <laughs> this yes. might lose me some points, I don't know, but... uh. I just realized I have a, a two terabyte SSD now, so I can download uh, Genshin back. Oh, nice. I actually kind of enjoyed that game. Also, uh, Gorbis, if you didn't know, has a focus sash. So. That uh, was fun to learn. I, I didn't know that. Or well, maybe I did. I don't know. Right. Chat. Don't use a potion. Can we talk please. about? Can we talk about the league building for a minute? Oh, is it cut off at the top or something like <laughs> it's that? It's just water. Yeah. Wait, what? There's just loads of water above it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, one mon left. Uh, they're probably gonna kill me. Well, no. Good. All right. I'm gonna bounce up with my alpha zoomerol. Ooh, this is going to be a long, tedious fight here. 7 out of 10, too much water. Yeah, they even put it in the in the league somehow. It's crazy. See, how much does Surf do? It's not very effective, but... It might do more than what I'm doing with my other move. Right. Well, I'm going to go back in here. No. I know that might sound very nihilistic of me, but I'm going to go back in here for a moment. What about Strength? I feel like none of my moves are doing decent damage. There was would be nice. one small area I missed in here, so I want to go back and check it. Shit, where was it? I actually don't remember. Was it here? Yeah. Yeah, it was here. I saw a bunch of trainers, I think, and I pooped and I ran away. <laughs> yeah, Maybe pooped. I'm... Yeah, sometimes I do that. It's funny. Wait a minute. 
Oh my god. Huh. You can bypass a lot of this cave. Okay, if you want to skip loads of this cave, <laughs> that waterfall part, when I said to go on the waterfall and go around, mm -hmm. don't go up the ladder. Go straight down past the bridge. It literally takes you directly to the exit. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my god, you can skip most of this. Huh. And here I thought right, um... I was about to go find something really cool. <laughs> well, <sighs> it's time to fight the league. I can't wait. Oh my god. This wall rain is uh, has too much fat. Yeah. That thing just eats damage for breakfast. And it killed me. And I was so close to winning. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to save my Snorlax for last. Um... But I can't. I need to make sure I keep him revived. I think that's what my goal what my goal is. Eevee, what is your happiness? You're probably lower now. No, he's still twenty. Okay, that's good. Um Do I have any berries that boost happiness? Oh, it's this guy. I should probably no. buy a whole bunch of healing shit here, because this is this Are is gonna there any be yeah, barnacles. Berries that boost happiness. Uh, Alright, let me see if I can buy those. So I'll rather just buy happiness for this thing. Not the gift shop, GTS. Uh, trade? Yeah, here we are. Pull Mog. Meg, not Mog. Warren and the Elite Four being able to hit Sheer Cold on most of your team because they'll be under like 53 is pretty rough. Stop. Stop right. it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I don't want to lower the HP stat on EV. What is a stat that doesn't really matter? I guess maybe, um. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Um, this the following natures require go well at all. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose immediately, but I'm I'm going in. Well, I'm wishing you luck. Oh no, I don't so even know what the first calm. guy uses. Dark types. So I need to buy Agwav berries. So Agwav. Ah. Uh, Wow. And the cheapest is oh, a 80. Shift tree. Interesting. Level 50! Ah! So I'll buy like 10 of these. Alright, Eevee. I hope you like uh, oh. berries. Uh, okay. One down. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember. I gotta remember, they oh, do wait, right. heal your Pokemon in between every battle, too. So I gotta relax and remember that. I always forget that they do that in this game for some reason. It's... I, I appreciate it a lot. It's one of the weird quality of life that they do decide to add. But then, like, all the quality of life that they, would like, remove. It feels like. <laughs> yeah. They changed it? No, 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 Ryan. Uh, in, in Pokemon Mo, every trainer has a dynamic team where they will kind of start with normally something that has an advantage over you. So you can't like pre-prepare for what they're gonna send out first. Right, well, and it's over. Eevee, you... All right, Eevee's happiness is 100. So I just need to level it up. Do I have a... Your candy, maybe? No, so let me buy that as well. Uh, candy. Oh, Keep his rare candy is 14,000. That's good enough. Except. 
It's okay, I got Thunderbolt. Use your Thunderbolt. Yeah, use your Thunderbolt. Yep, bye bye. Go to my mail. And claim item. Alright, now I should have an Espeon. <clears throat> Rare candy, where are you? Here you are. Use on Espeon. Yep, and as uh, EV is evolving. Okay, we got, we got two more. I've managed to take down three of Sydney's so far. There we go. Nice. We're off to a decent start. <laughs> Mighty Edda, this Pokemon's never been fearful. Yeah. Fire Fang, of course. All right, and I got an Espeon now. Wow, I can't believe you copied me. <laughs> da ha ha. I am the copyright owner of Espeon. <laughs> I love when they finish themselves off with recoil. It saves me the job. I too also like when they finish off. I love when things finish. Mm-hmm. It's always a good uh, time. All right, I think I'm. I think this will be good. Espeon now we'll will be able to handle decently. Oh, decently. Why did I do this? Oh, Cast. Cast could be good if I can even hit it right. before getting knocked down. Because. I mean, let me compare it to my other Pokemon here. Espeon is... Well, I mean, I think Walrein is... Has a good... Like, can I check that, actually? Let me look. Walrein. I just want to see if it gives me stat distribution of what it normally is. No, Have it doesn't. Have you watered the That's plants stupid. today? Oh, lord. That's a throwback. <laughs> yeah! I barely survived, but I beat Sydney. It took <laughs> Cass finishing him off, but I did it. I beat at least one person before losing. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna run with... Actually, let me change his item. Or, or yeah, his item. Um, right, Phoebe. She's Ghost, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of remember her. She has... Like a Dusclops and a Bonnet and, you know, all that shit. Um, All right, we good. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and use Rare Candy on Vibrava. Oh boy, Kingdra. Yeah, she's going to have a Dusk Noir for sure. So I'm gonna use confusion. Hopefully I'll get a confuse on them. No. But did decent damage. Uh, that's physical. All I could ask for. Physical. Yes. Okay. You withdraw. Interesting. Product. Uh doesn't I just affect, asked if something right. that specializes with earthquake as a physical. How am I making it this far into the game? <laughs> I'm gonna use my red candies on Benet so I can catch mm, That up. killed me. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, Snorlax. Okay. Uh, You're gonna be, uh, decent here. I'm just gonna start- I'm just gonna start with Blaziken. It's not a good idea. I should probably start with the type advantage, but I feel like they account for that too well, and I don't wanna- I don't wanna start off with a- with a disadvantage. Alright, Karadon's down. Good. I'll have to heal my Snorlax. Hey, Ryan! <laughs> You called it! <laughs> you fucking called it. Of course she had a Dusk Noir. We should have known. This is gonna be bad. Oh boy. Oh, with leftovers. That's nice. <laughs> I'm very happy for you. <laughs> leftovers, the bane of our soul. She probably has two. Don't say that. You don't need to say that. Don't. 
say that. She had two Dusclops version. Well, maybe she'll have both of the things you predicted. A Dusclops and a Dusk... No, a Dusk Noir and a Dusclops with Evio Light. Maybe she'll have both. Oh, my God. Snorlax literally lives on 1 HP right now. You are doing God's work, Snorlax. I did not realize that Dusclops lost its ground type when it evolved. Mm -hmm. Did it even gain a, a ground type, actually? I feel like Dusclops Extra. is a ground type. I know it uses Earthquake. I think it doesn't. Oh. Let me do a quick Google. I'm not beating this Dusclops, by the way. I mean, Dusk Noir. No way I'm Dusk not beating this. Dusk Noir. Yeah, it's pure ghost. That's what I assumed. I think it's just because there's... You assume it to be a mummy, and so... Yeah. Because well, it is me, very mummy-like. I'm just used to every Dusclops ever using Earthquake a bunch. That too, yeah. And so I think I just automatically assumed that it's a ground type. Uh, stop using a max potion. Also, I sort of wish they... You know how they heal between every Elite battle, elite 4 battle? They should do that after every gym battle. Just for convenience. Yeah, I, I guess why not, right? Like, it's you're saving the player time running to the back to the Elite 4 and all that. Or back to the PC and such. I'm so finished. <laughs> there All is right. very um, little that can be ghost type. You can survive this. I, I have a. I believe in you. Thank you. My belief was held. <laughs> Doesn't properly. this thing have the mystery dungeon explorers to kill? Not today. Man, I, I love those games. That's his part-time job. Uh. He's a part-time uh, explorer killer. Yeah. This is what he does for fun. Oh, God. All right, wish cash is down. So two of my main issues are done. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if my Johto team is going to be able to beat <laughs> the Elite Four here. They are insane. Hmm. Yep. I need to heal there up it again. Is. Brian, I Actually, cannot no, believe switch. how well you predicted her team. Uh, yeah, I'm going to switch to Magnazone. Gorbis dies pretty quickly with a Magnazone strike. I'm re I think I resist this, right? Because it's water. No, it's just neutral. Alright, I'm going to use Thunder. Please don't hit yourself. Thank you. Also, just to let you know... 70% accuracy moves, they'll they they still hit pretty consistently. That's it's not as bad as like main games. Oh. Okay. He saw your septile and got triggered. On landed. <laughs> no confusion. That's the reason I was able to survive Fist, him was oh. yeah, septile. It all comes full circle. This is just mystery dungeon promo. Um <laughs> You still gotta play that, so it's such a good game. I will, I will, eventually. Uh, well, I managed to make it through the worst of this. I got rid of Dusk Noir and Dusk Lops. Alright, Walrein and Seedra. You're sending out Walrein, it looks like. Billy Bird levels up, which is nice. They might have been... Um, Oh, fuck. Well, it's over. Let's fly. That actually, you know what, though? That went better than I thought it would for the team that I currently have. That definitely could have gone a lot worse. That being said, it's time to bring out the big boys. Uh, I'm going to go for, like, a hybrid team. I'm going to try not to just use... Like, I'm going to try to use some of my Kanto team, some of my Johto, some of my Hoenn. I feel like that could be fun. Um... Okay, uh, I feel Let's like Septile's go... got to stay. Well, since you're good. sleeping, let's see what happens if I, I do a... This is my Hoenn team. Wait, I don't... Wait, can I use an item still? Yeah, I can. But I don't have any Hyper Potions. I only have Super Potions. 
So, I mean, that's better than nothing to use on my soul axe. Easy to do with a mouse. <laughs> Just wasting time. Come right, on, sleep go. talk into sleep or rest. That'd be so, nice. That right there, Thanks. that's my that's my final uh um what's it called? Uh Hoen team. That's that's the ones. Uh but yeah, let's 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 mix it up a little bit. So I think voided. If there was two I was gonna keep from this region. I think God of War has shown a lot of value. And I think Sceptile's shown a lot of value. So I think those two should stay. I feel bad because I only just got this flag on, but it's fine. <laughs> um, okay. So let me just... Grab some space here. So if we're taking out... I don't know, Blaziken was pretty good, though. Honestly, I don't feel like this was a bad team. I just think that they're a little underleveled. And I feel like rather than having to, like, really slowly work through it, this is just a better solution. Yeah. Um... Because obviously this requires a grind, and I don't, I don't want to grind. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. We already did that. I mean, that's how I was able to beat the other league, was I had grinded. Um, okay, this kind of lines up all the types that are, like, similar. So, we have a... Oh, I should probably do that for this row as well. Just, just so I can, like, kind of... I do have some similarities in my teams, huh? <laughs> well, um... <laughs> hmm. All right. Does Gliscor do anything decent against a Walrein? I and mean, Walrein has Ice Beam. I'm flying type. I think Ice is like four times effective. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, Snorlax. Let's see what happens here. He's still sleeping. I got Hammer Arm. Does you? Ha oh, you woke up, of course. And you use Water Pulse. Come on, you can survive this, Snorlax. I know you can. I trust you. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, I survived. Oh, man. Um, I, I just have to... I just have to send it. You used rest again. Interesting. You still there? Yeah, I'm just... I'm, like, looking at my teams, and I'm, like, deep think... It's like, you know when you, ah. like, start, like, a game of, like, Pokemon Stadium, and you're, like, really thinking it over? Right, right. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm having that moment right now. I'm just like looking at everything. Like, what do I, what do I want to put in each? Slide? I actually feel like um, God of War would be better fit with. Please survive this. Guys, be um, I think you can. Yes. Yes. Wall rains like down. Mega now it's just Kingdra. Really good. I think. Well, knock on wood. I think I might be defeating them. Defeating Juan. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. It says Kingdra left. It's already had some damage in. I'll use um, Hammer Arm. Probably Snorlax will die, but I do have an Alpha Zumeral and Gligar. So, or Gliscor, I mean. Uh, I'll go into Alpha Zumeral. Who's the. God, who's the third Elite Four member? I, uh, obviously, Sydney's Dark, Phoebe's Ghost, Drake's Dragon. Who's the other member in that? Um, I don't know. I forget. Is it Ryan? You just wrote Glacia. Is that it? I don't know who Glacia is. Oh yeah, Glacia. Yeah, she's the ice one. Okay. Well, Typhlosion should be able I think to that's, take care I of think that. that. Yeah. Oh um, no. I think this is the team I want to go with. I might Wait. trade out Vaporeon for the hell. Revive, A hurricane maybe. hits through bounce. Oh, that's stupid. Why does this have right. surf? Yeah, waterfall would make more sense. Why does Weavile have surf over waterfall? Its special is really bad. 
Uh, Probably because I just needed something that knew surf, actually. <laughs> This, yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. I mean, at least I, I see a sight. Yeah. Yeah, I died. So... Okay. So, at least now I know the setup works. Should be alright as a team. Um, I just need to heal up and buy potions and such. Where's the mark in this town? I think this is the team I want to go with. I wasn't aware we've all could learn surf. No, I didn't know that either until I, they came up with an option. Uh, can I learn waterfall? It can't even learn waterfall, but it's a physical attacker. That doesn't matter. That's stupid. And I'm all right. angry. I need hyper potions. Give me your best hyper potions. I guess I don't have a water Nine. type then. I don't really need a water well, type I mean, though. I can only use four in a battle, so let me just do four for now. I don't think there's anything in there that really water would be useful against. Alright, let's try this team out. Let's bust out, um, who do I want? Let's bust out Big One Dave. more revive. And by the rest of these. <clears throat> let's see how this goes. Alright. Can I sell anything? What do I have to sell? Does he Any just nonsense? freeze the water and you Jesus across the sea? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how to answer that. Uh, sure. Hey, I didn't take into consideration what I was going to use against dark types. Uh-oh. <laughs> the very first guy I forgot about. <laughs> well, Typhlosion has submission. That's not. I can sell PP Max. I don't really use those. It would PP up. That gives me a lot of money. <coughs> God of War. <coughs> Alright, and... Started choking on my own rage. There we go. Despite of it? Yeah. Interesting. I'm gonna start with God of War. I know it's the weakest of my team, but it has Aura Sphere. Hmm. Here, I'll buy this a revive. Oh, yeah, signal beam. Good point. And another potion. All right, I think we're that's good. Some foul play right there. The oh, one thing that's helpful furious. though in this battle is that I kill enemy of like mons, and then they level up my mons. So it's not like I'm at a wall per se, because it is slowly advancing my mons. Yeah, yeah, because they're pretty high level though. And generally, I am, like, around their levels. Just, like, just annoying. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, 40, um, I think my lowest level is 43 right now. Yeah, which is my Magnazone. But Magnazone itself is just, like, not been really good in this match. See, what I'm gonna try to is... do is, I'm gonna try to, at least to, like, kind of honor my Hoenn team. This is corny as all hell, it doesn't really matter, but, like... To try and honor them, I'm gonna try to lead with Sceptile and God of War as much as I can. It's just uh... I honestly might replace Gliscor for this battle. What? Because he is just—he's—he's he's flying ground, and ice just eats him alive. Have, have you thought about maybe carrying some of your previous regions? Oh, well, that's what I've been doing. Oh right, I didn't know. Yeah, that's what uh, my Snorlax is from, like a previous gen. Um. My Delhi bird was from last gen as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thing so is, I, I've been going back and forth. I feel like I'm cheesing it by using these, but at the same time, I'm not that much higher level than them using these. Like, some of my team right now is level 57, but they're already using, like, level 52s, and this is only the first Elite Four. Uh, and also, like... To me, I feel like it's not really that cheesy, especially because the mods that they have, some of them are like literally like from a future gen or stuff like that. So it's like, I, I you know, you don't really have the option for at least most mods. You don't have the options to evolve them into those future gen mods. So, yeah, that's true. And plus they have like very strong stats and all that nonsense. Yeah, they that have boosted you're not really. Hell. They're, you're not really looking to EV train yourself, and so they're probably all well EV trained. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So. 
any advantage is uh, a good advantage. Yeah, like, I don't think this is going to make this, like, a cakewalk. I think this is still going to get tougher points. Mm-hmm. Focus Sash, oh baby! <laughs> Who's this? It continues. I'll just probably check to see if there's items on them. Okay, I see. Um, alright. The thing is, as well, I mean, they still have to be under the level cap for you to use them. So there is also right. that. You aren't, like, allowed to be too overpowered. Alright, I think I'm good. I, I brought my Raichu instead of the Gliscor. I'll bring Gliscor back inside, like him. Well, that's that one taken care of. Sydney was a lot easier this time around. He wasn't too bad the first attempt, though, to be fair. I don't think Sydney's that great. Honestly, Gen 3 is Elite <clears throat> 4 are very forgettable. They really are. Like, I, honestly, I don't know why. I still don't actually know who Glacia is. I'm sure when I see her, I'm assuming, from the name Glacia. Uh, yeah. I'm sure when I see her, I'll be like, oh, I remember her now, but, like, the only one I really remember is Phoebe, because I remember thinking that her design for, like, a ghost trainer was really odd. I didn't really I get I think the that. main reason why is that the they've never really shown up in, like, the anime, for example, too much. Like, I feel the other ones, they always had, like, a little bit of a, uh, like, a special moment in the anime. Yeah, but think, like Drake did, because I remember like yeah, seeing Drake, Drake was in cool. the anime, and I think that's why Drake is the one I remember from the Elite Four the most. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't really watch a lot of Gen Three anime, I think I've seen like three episodes maybe. One of them had Drake in it, and I was like, ah, oh, okay. Wasn't he the? Arm. Wasn't Drake the, the the token guy who beats Ash? I think so. Yeah. Because there's always someone that beats him. There's also the, uh, what was his name? Uh, Brandon, I think it was. And that was the, um, what's it called? The Battle Frontier uh, guy. Pretty sure he beat Ash as well. Ash right, was having a bad, a bad time. Yeah, Gen 3, he lost a lot. I remember that. Never probably. saw it, so I wouldn't really know. I guess we'll just do hammer arm. I'll survive a 74 HP. I remember um, a lot. Yeah. Jesse having a Survivor and James having a Cacturn. I really liked that. Yeah. Those were good that choices was so good. for them. Alright, Hyper Potion on Snorlax. Yeah, What's Brandon it? just had Reggie's. Wait, I love that. Who's Brandon? Uh, Battle Frontier guy. Oh, right. No wonder I don't know who that is. I've never done the Battle Frontier. Skill issue, a hundred percent. A little. Okay, save the lie. My guy. Fuck Wobbuffet. Oh yeah, I forgot that they said Wobbuffet. I loved Wobbuffet. Why do you hate Wobbuffet? Jesse's had especially some really if you get cool Pokemon over the time that I think about it. Especially if you get the joke of what <clears throat> what Wobbuffet is, name wise, especially because it's a especially it specifically hits harder in Japanese because it's a it's in a, a phrase that the uh, an old phrase that they say in comic not comics but in jokes where it always would put at the end of a, a sentence to end it as a cliffhanger or not a cliffhanger but as a hit. So it's like almost like um. If you say if you say a, a funny joke or a bad joke, someone will do the uh, the drum thing. It's basically that, but a verbalism in, in Japan. Oh right, I didn't actually know that. Yeah, it's I was a immediately going thing. to ask you like what what you meant by that, and then you explained it. So I was mm -hmm. glad. It's it's like why why not is time because why not is related to that uh, following that in you know in uh the same familiarity of it like oh why not. Why not? Why not? Yep. Ugh, God. Eey. My Snorlax died. Two Bennets, really. Two. So she, eh. had a, she had a Dusclops, a Dusk Noir, and two Bennets. I'm telling you now, if Pokemon Mo could have implemented a Mega Bennet, they would have here. 
Actually, didn't think, all yeah. of the Elite Four use Megas in the remake? I don't remember, but I think they did. Maybe. That sounds like they would. Although, I mean, actually... I uh, I think I was happy that James released Weezing. That was actually a very touching moment. It's like how um, Ash uh, released uh, Butterfree to be with uh, the pink Butterfree. That was very touching. It was very sad and emotional, but touching. Here we go. Same with uh, Chimeco B when he released Chimeco. That was oh, well, not released. I think he sent it back to his parents. It was well, very. So he had abs, right? Mega Absol goes ham. Oh yeah, because Drake would have used the Mega Salamence. Mega Salamence is funny. <laughs> it's so funny looking. Alright. Good. Alright, Starlax. Wow, this... Hammer arm, this wall rain. This lady still rings no bells, <laughs> even seeing her now. Yeah, you know what else like, it is? I'm gonna say it now. Another thing that I think makes the Elite Four really forgettable: the rooms that they gave them are nothing. Yeah, they're generic as all hell. Yeah, they are not themed or like fancy at all. It's just a square room with a different color palette. Yeah, I mean, at least Gen Four, they actually did give more trump to them. But I, yeah, Gen Three was a rough say. I kind of recognize her well, sprite, but I really it, don't remember Glacier at all. Yeah, Platinum was when they gave it more a personalization. I think Gen 4, like Diamond and Pearl, it was still like relatively just color based. <clears throat> but Platinum is when it was really fancied. Alright, Wall Rain's down. Good. Snorlax, you're killing it, bud. Glalie, huh? That would have been I gotta say, Snor Glalie, for sure. Snorlax is like an MVP. All right. I'm uh, still peeved they never gave Frostlass a Mega. Yeah, that's lame. Considering they gave one to Glalie, and who who's picking Glalie over Frostlass? Well, I mean, Gen 3, you couldn't really had any. All right. Yes, but I mean, uh, th that's not a good enough reason. <laughs> Yeah, but Oras is stinky. We don't talk about Oras. I really like those games. I'm gonna talk they about them all stinky. I want. <laughs> they still stinky. <laughs> I think I prefer them to the original Gen 3, honestly. No, no. I, I, I always prefer Gen 3 just normal. Just to the fact that, like, Battle Frontier... Um, I've spent a majority of this playthrough saying how forgettable Gen 3 is, so I gotta say, I don't think I like it that much as a region. <laughs> Like, there's, there's issues, I, and I think Oras... I feel Oras didn't really change the issues, it just added more things alongside the issues. Which, I mean, I guess can overwrite some of it, but it's like... It didn't change the core stuff that I never had... It, that I... That Gen 3 had. Would you stop talking in your sleep and making that hurt me somehow? Oh, I do Baba. No, 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 you smell. <laughs> Go on, Big Dave. It's time to bring out the big guns. Guys, Big Dave is back on stream. It's been a while, but here he is. Yo, Big Dave! Oh, I love Big Dave, man. He's just like the original Big Dave. He's just untouchable. Mm-hmm. Thunder! Oh, didn't kill. That should have killed. But didn't. I say he's untouchable. He took half of his HP and damage from one move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, you can ride a Latios. That was cool. That was a cool thing. And fun fact, they never brought it back for some reason. I don't get why not, but you Oh my know. god, I forgot about the Scarlet and Violet. Yo, she has a Frost Slash? Fuck you! That's not <laughs> fair. I haven't had one of them yet. I should have caught uh, Snow Run, actually. Max Potion. Who 
Yeah, I forgot about the Scarlet and Violet Elite Four rooms. They really sucked. Room. Yeah, room. <laughs> it was a fun concept, but looking back at it, I don't like it. Um, I might have to... What's your final thing? Is that another frost last? You do not seriously have two frost lasses. Don't you even tell me that you have two. I hate you, Glacier. <laughs> Life's not fair. I'll choose Dig. I wish that missed, but I didn't. Okay. Raichu, can you do something? I don't think you can. Because, yeah. Uh. Thunderbolt? Maybe we'll kill? I don't know. No, it didn't. Dragon Pulse will do. Yeah, nice chunk. I barely Thunderbolt survived again. that. Wow. That was actually kind of tough. Yeah, this is uh, challenging, that's for sure. My icy skills right. failed to harm you. Shut up. <laughs> Stop talking. Mega kick, maybe? Alright, yeah, that didn't work out this time. Alright, um, let's see, like that. I got down the two mods, it looks like. Still decent. I'm trying to figure out. Maybe I'll have to go through my TMs and see which moves will help in this. I never understood why a pirate captain used um, dragon types, but I liked it. Because they're if pirates are fantasy. No, -uh. uh huh. My uncle was a pirate. Cool story, bro. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, doesn't this guy just have like a million Salamences? Isn't that his team? <laughs> um, let me look here. Um, I gotta bring up my trusty, handy dandy type chart because I always forget what things are weak against what. Chart type, ice, or type chart ice. You can always ask me. I forget what. I ice never forget my type advantages. That's the one advantage I have in Pokemon. <laughs> Certain things I just can't forget, and that's one of them. So, fire, fighting, rock, and steel. Hmm. So, let's see. But no, I have to count <laughs> because... Or, what is water and ice types weak against? Water, hmm. ice types, weak. So when you get into dual type stuff, it becomes an issue. Oh, excuse me. You better be sorry for that. I'm furious. I don't really all care. Right. So Water. I'm all the time. That was a hiccup. <laughs> that, was a, that was like a hit. I'm just saying I bub yeah. all the time. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It was like a hiccup burp. It was weird. Um, Water ice. Right. Is uh, electric is two times. So a Kingdra, uh, two, two Flygons, and a Salamence. I'm pretty sure he has two Salamence, so I think... Weavile is just destroying Drake's team. Oh no, he's got an Altaria. Okay, this... This might right. change things. Yeah, this is annoying to deal with. Okay, I might have been a little overleveled for some of this. Maybe. Maybe just a little. Alright, so... Water ground is a pain, so what is... Grass is four times, so let me get a grass move on someone. Magical Leaf. Who can learn this? Uh, Espeon, ooh. I like that the fourth member of the Elite Four was the quickest and easiest of the four. <laughs> I... <laughs> Alright, um... All right, so that's good. Water ground. So that covers two weaknesses, but the only ones in this match. This is just like a regular um, Friday for you, isn't it, uh, Ampharos? Just walking down the aisle of the Elite Four. 
That's what you always do. <laughs> Big Dave is always happy to help. He's such a champion. Overheat might be good to have. What is it good against? Or with? Well, no, none of them. Okay, never mind. I honestly that. don't even remember a Wallace's theme, so I'm kind of interested in hearing this again. I thought Earth Power was electric for a second. See, that's yellow. Why is that yellow? We got some. Ooh. I think it's like orange. Starting with a melodic. Big W for you. I mean, grass covers most of these decently. So let me see if I, I can teach this someone music. Else. This is uh, not very good champion music, in my opinion. Nah, that's all right. I just, I think Gary's champion theme just sets it at a really high level. Oh yeah, definitely. Green punch? No. And Cynthia's, to be fair, she has a great theme. Great personality too. Mhm. Mm I think I could keep Snorlax a fighting move. I It'd forgot be, how much well, of I mean, a healing machine his fucking melodic is. <laughs> Actually, I'll teach um, Raichu this fighting move. That'd be a good idea. I, I don't get why Mega Kick is normal. Oh, you played me. You it's a, it's a me. kick. Wait, is this is this special or physical? Special, okay. That's good. Raichu is my split, I believe. So So I might replace her full fit. Okay, there we go. That was rough. Okay. Focus punch, I could teach to Delibird, that'll mix up a little bit here. Big Dave, his team is pretty much exclusively water, you've got this. What's my Delibird stats here? Who was the champion in the remakes? Was it Wallace again? I think I Uh, probably it's Wallace. Wallace is more iconic, I feel. See, I don't know why I remember Steven, but I don't think that's right at all. Might have been Steven. I have no idea, actually. Uh oh. No, Big Dave, no! Oh, remove the physical. Get out of there. This is. Yeah, that's fine. It was yeah, Steven it was with Steven. the Mega Metagross. Okay. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. That's very Drain fitting. Punch. None of them can learn Drain Punch. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I got. A decent enough move set spread. I might teach someone Sandstorm because that sounds like it would be a really good to get some chip damage on them. Was Steven the original champion in Ruby and Sapphire? Yes, I believe so. Right. That feels like a much more fitting end than Wallace, honestly. Because you see Steven a lot in the game. Like, Wallace is a crazy difficult trainer, so I understand why he'd be the final. <clears throat> I think you it's know, also I mean... because champions tend not to be monotype users. Yeah. I might still lose this. Uh, his, his team is insane. Oh no, Big Dave! My one and only hope. All I have left is Typhlosion. Yeah, I think I've just lost. <laughs> I think Wallace beat Ooh. me. Uh... Um, what should I replace with Sandstorm? Tri Attack or Flash Cannon? Real Tri Attack is really good because of the 7% chance on the whatever. Um, Flash Cannon, I'm not sure. I know one guy who will be able to help you with that, and it's not me. Yeah. I, I want to keep Thunderbolt and Thunder because those are like really good electric I need. I'm not sure about Flash Cannon and Tri Attack. Sandstorm feels really good on my Magnezone. Because it'll it'll be able to uh, take the chip damage. 
and lay in some hits. No! Okay, cool. Thank fuck for that. I hate Gyarados, man. This game makes me... Every time I see the word Gyarados, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, here it goes. Ludicolo. Yeah, I might just replace uh, Flash Cannon. I feel like that just makes a lot of sense. Let me do that. Uh, All right. Fuck. No. All right. I'm going to... What was that? It's like I heard myself for a second. All right. And let's surf. And take on the gym. Yeah, but I'm not doing Glacier. I'm doing Wallace right now. Well, not Wallace. I'm doing the what's his name, Juan. I think I'm finished. I can't heal anymore. This is bad. This is really bad. All right. Can I go? Away? Oh, I could. Nice. I'm. I was. Gonna, I was gonna make a moment. Oh, I'm gonna save here. No, I can't. Um. See, no, I got no. my. All right, two revives, five hyper potions. I think I could do this. I set up Magnazone, except the Sandstorm at first. Then I'll go into Snorlax. No, I'll go into Espeon after Magnazone paints. Maybe you're still alive. I think this will be good. Don't give me hope. Don't give me hope! Wishcast. Okay, that's not really good for my setup here. But this can work. So, Sandstorm. Oh, fuck. All Man, right, that up. was so close! Got my Sturdy. Oh. And here and I was thinking it. I was cheesing it using the team that I had. Uh, well. Well, well, well. I don't think I have a single max revive, which would have helped so much. No, I don't. I don't even know how you get max revive. You gotta find them or buy them. Like, buy them in the GTS. Yeah. Alright, Magical Leaf on Wishcast. This will probably kill, I think. Uh, a, rin a Rindo well. Berry. Of course you have a Rindo Berry. Why wouldn't you have a Rindo Berry? Oh, I, I still killed you anyway. So, take that. Well. All I can do is just keep going in there and trying again. I don't really have yep. any other options, so. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with, uh. With Juwan here, I just basically taught some new moves to help uh, against them. Use the type chart, a dual type chart, to sort of get a good idea of like what does far more damage than else. So that helped a good bit. All right, uh, let's use magical leaf, I think. But yeah, basically that's the best you can do, really. Just uh, change out the move, your mons, like in order. What I usually do is I like to order them in what I'm going to send out. Sometimes I don't, but you know. But it helps get an idea of like, okay, so uh, once he's down, I'll go with the next one and then blah, 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 blah. The fall suit. Well, the crazy thing about Wallace is he's all water type, but he has a lot of dual types that make it difficult. So like his Ludicolo just fucking ruined me. Um, so for Ludicolo... Is the best moves you are best types you can bring for that would be flying poison and bug. Yeah, I'm starting to really regret not having Yan Mega with me. I think Yan Mega would have been a much better choice than Gengar. Yeah. Gengar was never really that useful in any of my playthroughs. I don't know why I brought it with me. <laughs> it never really helped much. I just kind of swore by it. Gengar is okay. Alakazam is way better. What 
about to start getting lectured about how certain things can't level up anymore. Avoid it. Don't you have an Alec Uh, I do, but I don't imagine it's very high leveled. Come on, King's Road this time. What, what do you do? <clears throat> the only problem with this is uh, the rest of the Elite Four are fine. It's just I'm gonna have to get through them every time I want to get back to the one fight. <laughs> uh, it sucks. Yeah. The ones is annoying me. The I max can potions are the really tell. That me. He's he's giving you a lot of trouble. It's like it's just it's like. I wouldn't mind it, but he's using max potions when he gets the Kingdra down to yellow. Oh, what wow. trainer uses a max potion at yellow? Uh, someone who's just a, a couple steps ahead, I guess. I guess. Uh, it's just annoying because you, you do it after every time I get you through, and I'm just ends up wasting the PP of my uh, move. Now Snorlax is dead, and now I have to use a revive, and then I have to. Oh, God. It's just annoying. All right, uh, Raichu, I'll send you in. You can do something here. Uh, use a Focus Blast. You have the move. You can use it and avoid the attack. Ugh. How about once more? You can do it. There we go. This will do a good chunk of damage. And it didn't do anything. Wow. Okay. This isn't going to plan this time. So, let me see. I'm going to revive my Snorlax. Delibird, you can take a hit here. I know you can. Alright, Snorlax is recovered. Of course he landed a hit on Delibird. You know, how it goes. Alright, um... Really should have changed out and move on a zoom roll. Really not good moves on you. And I'll use a hyper potion on Snorlax. Use psychic. Why do I go for Thunderbolt? I'm slipping. I'm slipping. They're gonna catch you when you're slipping. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all catching up to me now. All right, strength. You can do this. Alright. Beat Strength up whilst again. most of my team is still alive. Alright. Storlax. You can do this. You're full health. You're good. You know you can do this. Kingdra doesn't have that much HP left. We're gonna heavy slam. I know it's it does half damage, but I think you can land it. It'll do a lot of damage. Let's see what happens here. Didn't do much. Okay, well that didn't go to plan. Uh, Zen Headbutt. This will do. This will kill. It's prepared to kill. It is dead. Okay, so Crawdon. Uh, I can kill you. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's still max leveled up. Nice. All right, Hammer Arm. Two times damage. Good. These goddamn oh my God. berries. Alright, crowd so on much down. Hope, and then I see a citrus berry kick in, and I'm mad all over. Orbis is next. Okay. Well, I am going to use a hyper potion because I am on 4 HP. Oh, God, he still has his wall rain in the back. I hate that he saves that one last. Do you know how many grass types? Uh, it's currently dead. Well, it's not even grass type. It's it's Espeon with Magic Leaf. Well, get that revive on then. Uh, I used all my items. Oh. Yeah. Sort of wish that was an option in the menu. <laughs> All right. Um, 
I am probably gonna die here. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this is a toughie of a battle. Okay. He's a, he's a real baddie, I guess you could say. <laughs> I guess you could say that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what you'd <laughs> say, right? Also, why are these two trying to walk in the path? What, what, what is that green Pokemon? They already left. Why are you blocking the path here? Do they not, like, move until I defeat the gym or something? That's dumb. Blocking what path? Uh, to the right of the Poke Center. There's, like, two NPCs that were there because they you did the whole Rayquaza thing. And so it's like, now they're just, like, congratulating you. And I wanted to see what was in the house to the right. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, they really don't want you to get that big whale medal. Yeah. That's the only thing that I, I know that see. was over there when I went and checked it out was there was a guy that gets well, a lady. She gives you a big whale medal for thanking you for saving. Yeah, I just wanted to see like if there was any items over there that I could maybe I could use or something. <laughs> Anything to help. Oh my goodness. Walrain, you terrible, terrible bastard. These magic I feel like I'm speaking annoying. your language right now. <laughs> yep. Sounds about right. What do you guys talk about here? Uh, nothing too crazy. Okay. Yeah, these people don't say anything. What about you people? What do you say? I don't like uh, nothing. Say you people like that. I don't like that. Well, I mean, they're, they're just standing here. One person's looking at a rock. It's like doing nothing. Like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? A pretty Pokemon came down from the sky. Well, no, duh. I saw it myself. The Why are you looking at a rock Pokemon. in the opposite direction? <laughs> it's like these people are just like, what are, like, what are you doing? I don't know if pretty is necessarily the term I'd use to describe Rayquaza. Like, it is... In a sense, but I don't know if that's like the definitive word I'd use to describe it. Yeah. Also, one second. My uh, hard drive ran out of space for the recording. Uh -oh. I gotta fix that real quick. Uh, got him. Yeah, good thing it was on a text prompt, so it's not too bad. I forgot to delete the old, the other older VODs I had. Uh, the issue. Let's see, where is it saving at? It's really funny, actually, because um, before I got my uh, huge storage upgrade, I used to actively delete VODs like so fast uh, to make sure I yeah, always had enough space, and now I like just let them pile up. Uh, okay, right. So I'll just delete these. That's 14 gigabytes. That's good enough. Alright, and I'll click back. Start recording. All right, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't really call. Uh, what the hell? I just delete. Oh wait, I forgot to empty the recycling bin. I don't know why I just uh, looked at Blackjack and he kind of looked a little like the Chatata sprite from my Infinite Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I can the look face it. he had. All right, there we go. Yeah, I wouldn't really uh, call Rayquaza uh, pretty. Yeah, I mean? it's not really like like it is. It, there is a beauty to its design, but I just yeah, don't think it's... that's like the definitive word I would use when talking about it. It's I would more say it like would be more like awesome. Yeah, awesome. Maybe a little creepy. There is a little creepiness to it. Um, scary. I could I could see. I want to. I want to just quickly say when I say awesome, I'm not talking like a five. -year Whoa, he's so awesome! I mean, like, <laughs> like the you know, awe-inspiring, like, wow, yeah, that's an incredible thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, wait, he's so cool. <laughs> I mean, he is so cool. Too. He is. I mean, yeah, I can't he deny is. That. Really, yeah, that's, yeah. There's a reason why he's in Smash Bros. Brawl. I mean, as a boss. So. Oh yeah, that was a cool little moment. Yeah, see, that, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, subspace emissary rules, man. And Diddy Kong uh, was in that battle. Ugh, don't remind me. <laughs> you had to ruin it. 
<laughs> you hate monkey. Diddy Kong. I hate him with so much passion in my heart. Why do you hate Diddy Kong? He's what? He's just such a. I don't know. I just. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I just hate him. I always have. Man. I don't know what Diddy twerp. Kong did to you. He start, you know did what? You he, carries, he carries twerp energy, actually. That's a really good way for me to sum that up. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. It, yeah, he's, now, he's after being called. Now, after having been calling a smell you later and all that, now you're having issues of every single twerp. What? I think you're putting down your own twerp energy. Hey. I'll have you know I'm a real. Stinker. That's Stinker, what you are. that's the time I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> Stinker. Uh, that's the one. Uh, what is Kingdra actually weak to? Uh, I have no idea actually. Let me check. Okay, I think it's just like, I have fairy type is anything I can think of, which obviously isn't in this. So, Water Dragon. Is weak to oh, Ryan's already said dragon, dragon and fairy. yeah, dragon and fairy. Oh. Everything else is either neutral or uh, not very effective. Fire and water is not very effective, what a and pain. seal is not very effective. What a humongous pain that is! Yeah, that's why Kingdra is such a pain because it's like nothing works well against it. Yeah, because it is a dragon type, so it can kind of fend off the one thing that it's weak to in this. Mm hmm. That's why I don't like dealing with, uh, you know, ghosts with ghosts and dragons with dragons, because it normally backfires. You'll be like, yep, oh, yeah, time. mine is mine is super effective to theirs, but theirs is just a little better than yours, so it wins every time. Mm hmm. Man. This one character sprite down here, it's like. She is like thick. <laughs> All right, man, relax. <laughs> I am. Um, I gotta say, I'm really glad I used Weavile in this playthrough because I never have before, and I've really grown to appreciate it on a whole other level. It is so good. Yeah, Feebass is nice. Weavile, I said. Oh, we. I thought said Feebass. <laughs> Feebass. <laughs> I, mean, I saw Feebus. Feebus came on my screen. That's why oh. I was like, "Oh yeah, Feebus. Yeah, yeah, yeah." No, no, Weavile. Yeah, Weavile is really cool. Okay, how do I? I actually, I think I had that in Gen Four in my playthrough once. Yeah, I think I did actually. It was like I like Sneasler, Sneasel, not Sneasler. I like Sneasler. That's a good name. That's like a baby I think Sne form. Sneasler is the Hisuian version or evolution. I Wait, think. that's real. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's real. Yep. I need to look. I think that's the same. There's a different evolution for Sneasel. Yeah, it's uh. Like this. Yep. Sneasel. He's more closer to. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> oh it's no. It's always a love-hate relationship. <laughs> oh, it's so long. <laughs> Why is it so <laughs> long? I don't, I don't That's dislike funny. it. It's one of those where, like, a, the, the initial shock of seeing it is like, oh, it's so long and weird. But, like, it's it's good, but it's not great. I, it's not Weavile. I, I like it, because it is a tall mon. It's not, it's uh, like, it's, I don't it, know. it's so, what it does in the game is it carries you up mountains. It's a little upsetting, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I feel about that. I like him. He's cool. He also has he has uh I'll say that. He has uh he slays, to say the least no. or most. I don't know. You slay. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> now go kill Guan. <laughs> okay, I will. I'm heading up to his uh icy uh path again. His palette of frostitude. I sort of wish the puzzle, like, stayed solved, so you didn't have to yeah. keep on doing it over yeah. and over. Well, I mean, I understand why it couldn't, though, because it's a cracking floor. Yeah, but, I mean, you could just make it so the, the stairs stop being ice, and so you could just walk straight up. Now, that is true. There is no reason they couldn't have done that. 
Oh yeah, I remember why Wallace sucks immediately. I was like, the whole time after I lost him, I was like, why was Wallace so bad again? I don't remember. And then he sent out Gyarados and I went, ah, oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Immediate <Yep. laughs> realization. Uh, Have a good night. Yeah, see you later. Hope you had a good thanks, time. Thanks for hanging out. Of course it does. Of All course right. it does. Why would Kingdra. a Gyarados not have Earthquake? Uh, I don't know. Why wouldn't it? I'm done. Nope. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I'm, I don't, don't want to play anymore. It started me again without using Sturdy. I'm sick of this. <laughs> Stop it. Alright. Um, since I survived, I'm going to use Thunder because, you know, maybe I'll survive the next day. I do have... Wait, no. Sturdy doesn't work when I'm already damaged. So yeah, sorry. Oh, I survived! Holy cow. That surprised me. Wow. Uh, yeah, Alright, um... I mean, I don't think I'm faster than Kingdra. Kingdra is like... Eh, I don't know. Oh, I'll use another Thunder. Why not? Yeah, it killed me. I mean, I, do, I got 50 damage off. I mean, 50% of its HP down, so that's better than nothing. Storm, I'm ready to pull out the hair I do not have, I swear to God. <laughs> Alright, Espeon, you are good to go, buddy. Let's hit them with a uh, magical leaf. Survive, please survive, please survive. Super fast. Of course it is, I forgot that Gengar is a poison type. Classic. I still don't get why there's so many ghost types for poison types in Gen 1. Alright, King Joe's down. It was a crit, too. Nice. Poison was a hey. very common type in Gen 1. Yeah. I mean, I understand why it is very easy to attach poison onto anything. Magical leave this wall rain. Sorry. Please survive, please survive, please survive. Oh, you are all oh, ice beam. Ooh, survived. Just poisoned, for the love of God, poison. Thank you, the melodic is poisoned. The, uh, the, the poison has been injected into the melodic. Hell yeah, poison that sucker. Oh, I got frozen. Uh, turn one, unfreeze? No? This sounds like an oh. opportunity to use the uh, max potion. Unfreeze? No. Maybe I'm freeze. Ah! <laughs> unfreeze? No. Ew. Poison him again. <laughs> That's not cool, bro. Why you gotta do that like that? Do me don't like ask, that. you can take this wall rain. Don't do me like that. Don't. 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 <laughs> don't do me like that. <laughs> Alright. Revive my Big Dave Jr. I need him. Greatly. We gotta play that new, um... That new game. That's, uh... Like, uh... I can't even think of the name right now. What's that game? What's the game we played? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I don't know. I don't. I don't play games. I'm. A, I'm a Lethal fake. Company. There we go. We need to play the other game that's like Lethal Company that just came out. Please don't get frozen and survive. Thank you. It's uh, it's popping off a little bit. I have no idea what game you're talking about. I can't think of the name of the newer one, but a lot of people have been talking about it, and uh, looks pretty cool. It also is one of those other, you know, spooky co-op sort of things. So, and it, we are approaching around October, so it would be a good, uh, well, almost approaching. Yeah. Still got a whole other month, Could not but, you know. soon enough. Wall rain is down, thank God. Ludicolo. Okay. Oh, Krada, you're going two. down. I... Max potion? No, I think a hyper potion would be fine for Big Dave. Yes. Yes, it would. I have to so lie I... on Big Dave. Big Dave. Ah, oh, Snorlax is down. Dang it. Also has. 
nice moves. All right. Um, right, you. You might be able to handle five. this. Five. Weavile. That's the way to go. go Weavile was Ooh, good. Yeah. Focus blast. Yes. All right, Krada is probably dead from this. I'm pretty sure it dies. It's dead. Okay. So now all I have to worry about is Wishcast and Gorbis. And I have three items I can use still. Oh, don't get knocked out, right. please, I beg. Survive this. Yes, right, we I think you can my survive boy. This. So let me revive. Oh, only one revive. Uh, Snorlax, I think, will be be better of the pick. Oh, a so, Wailord. Uh-oh. That's flying water, so you should be able to be able to take that out if you have electric. What, Wailord is flying? I'm pretty sure, yeah, because it's a blimp. <laughs> I never would have known that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. I mean, I know it is a blimp. That's what it is canon, but I'm pretty sure it's flying as well. Okay, I think he's got a Waylord. Wall, wall rain and a Waylord left, so... Oh, wait, okay, no, it's shit. Water. No, he has a whisk cash. I am done. I am going mm. to lose again. Yeah, whisk cash is, uh... Fucking damn it. I was so close. Actually, what does my other mods have here? Zoom roll. Do you have a mon that a move that can be good against him? No, right? Yeah, you suck. Still need to get a better move on you. There's no way I'm winning this. Focus punch. Right, Deli Bird. You might be able to work here. Yourself. Hit yourself. You son of a. So, it's a critical hit too. I'm so happy oh, wait. for you. I'm so happy I that for was wrong. you. I'm dumb. Typhlosion. I beg you to have a move that's not. Ah, oh, god dang it. This sucks. This fucking sucks. Keep I was focus. so close. There's no, I, I'm done. Alright, that ain't working. Oh, He's I didn't want to run. No. Nope. Earthquake, Teflosion, one shot. Yeah. Oh, gotta use a potion. Oh, God. Don't give me false hope. I hate when they give me false hope. Hit yourself, please. I will win if it hits itself. It didn't hit itself. I lost. Well, you're close. Yeah, I was. Yeah, that was like literally, you know, like the little um, like markers for how much health they have. Yeah. It had like a marker yeah, like, half left. It was one shot ooh. away from losing. <sighs> fucking miscash. Right. I I don't I don't actually know how to win this fucking league. This is insane. Don't avoid my attacks. God dang it. That's my, that's my biggest sweep. I need to figure that out. I need to reevaluate my team for a second here. Um, Gengar is not really contributing anything that can go. I'm gonna switch out to Zoom Roll. You earthquake me, that's fine. I'm gonna hit you with a Surf. Oh, you used a max potion. Of course you do. Yeah, Mega was really good. Um... Sir. I mean, this victory bell served me really well, but if I take <laughs> Sceptile out, I feel like I'm just shitting all over my Hoenn team. But I, I just don't want to lose <laughs> anymore. Um... Yeah, I feel that. I might just use my Johto champion team because I'm looking at it like Espeon and Victory Bell would be really good over God of War and Zeptile. Alright, there we go. One more Let's surf. Go full Jota. Let's quick. see how that goes. Fuck it. I should have used the item. Just because right, I'm, um, I'm on attempt three at this point, so. Yeah. I know how that feels. Okay. Hammer arm, come on! Ah, uh, all right. That's I don't even. I'm, I lost count of my attempts really here. All right, let me rethink this. What mons do I have here that I could use?
All right, Hoenn League, you've made me bring out the big boys. Mm. Focus. Not Ash. sure. What do I have in my bag here? That I could use. I don't have any. I mean, I have some money actually. I forgot. I battled some trainers, so I could buy some stuff. I need items too. So. All right. Actually, can I sell some Pokemon? The GTS. Actually, didn't I put some Pokemon up on the GTS? I thought I did. Let's see. Uh, your listings. Oh, cool. I have money. I could take. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, nice. Oh, they don't give it to you uh, right away. You have to go like pick it up. Yeah, you have to pick it up in the mail. Um, oh. that's fair enough, I guess. Actually, no, I have to go... Yeah, here we are. Uh, your listings. Here we go. Now I can claim them. Alright, there we go. Now I got a lot of money. Um, And what do we else have in the... GTS thing? I mean, I could buy a mon that would be very useful. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I mean, I could. Let's see. Um, what would the, uh, probably a dragon type because that's that's the one that will take down the Kingdra. It would be nice. It might have an ice move though. Yeah, but I could try to find something. What's what's a dragon type that's not effective on ice? It's or not get hit by ice. Let's see. Is there one? I I genuinely don't know. Yeah, that's what I want to see if there is. Yeah, I can't honestly think of one. Alright, let's see. Well, you could just get a Pokemon uh, with a Dragon-type move. That too. Let's uh, see. Dragon... Sept Septile lends quite a few Dragon moves. So, Dragon... Let's see. Um, Is there any move mods with... Oh. Actually, Actually Septile was here? a big part of why I was even able to win that league in the first place. <laughs> I mean, that gym in the first place, because it's effective mm -hmm. against quite a lot of it. Dragon Mon that oh wait no that's not what I want to look yeah all right ice um let's see oh, there's a few uh well no, that's ghost not dragon do, do, do. there's some that are neutral so that's good so uh dragon ice dragon water dra uh, dragon fire dragon steel and that's it so what do we have in those types in this game. I can't think of any. I mean, what is Metagross? Metagross is a Psychic Steel. Psychic Steel, okay. Oh, it's Salamence. Dragon Flying? Yeah. Uh, where's the type thing here? Type, type, type. Um, gender ability. Does not have type listing here? That's weird. Um, Pokemon listings, uh... Um, but it's not. Yeah, yeah, Mega should be fine. Oh, the tier? I mean, why don't I just search Uber? Right, what's, what's... if I beat it on this attempt, then my estimate of about three hours to finish Hoenn wasn't far off at all because we've just passed the three hour mark. Three hours and three <laughs> minutes. So now I have to win to prove a point. <laughs> a point right, what's that didn't level need level? to be proved. What's that? I was just checking the level caps. So I need to make sure I can't go above that. Oh, yeah, that's mod. true. I think it's like 48 or something. Yeah, mine's 48, yeah. It goes up by a whopping 10 after you finish that. Whoa, that's a lot. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, max level 48. Everyone and in the league say... uses up to 54, by the way, but... 45. That knowledge has not helped me very much, honestly. What's Gobbite's uh, level, or type? Dragon Ground. That is, I think, double peak twice? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that's four times. That's very bad. Um, I mean, there's some fire types here, which is not a bad. Garchomp, which is you know same thing. Um, I mean, these mods are pretty cheap though. Like this Garchomp, level forty-eight, only twenty thousand. Oh, I know a dragon water type. Yeah, I, I know. I know Palkia. one too. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Let's search that. Palkia. Maybe it's someone selling a Palkia. <laughs> they have hacked maybe. it in, but maybe. Um, well, in my template here, um, or advanced search, it's not within the level cap I have. Uh, let me lower the min level. Uh on. Okay, I modify. Blue. Oh, wait. Oh, I see why. oh, and I just thought of a dragon steel type, too. You're not going to believe this. Oh, what's that? What's that? A Dialga. Oh, yo. I, I'm going to be honest. I only just now remember that those are those types. Because uh, I looked over at uh, chat and I was reading some of Ryan's messages that I must have missed earlier. <laughs> and he mentioned Palkia and I went, oh, shit. Yeah, that one. There's one. Also, I went to type in Cedra, and I'm like, oh, wait, I, let me check, it's Evolve, and I type Sea King. Wait, no, no, that's not, it's, it's, it's Kingdra. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess you could also get a Kingdra of your own. I yeah, mean, or I could, that. or I could get the Cedra on my own. Uh, or the Kingdra, or Sea King, I mean. Wow. Because that is also another Pokemon. Uh, yeah. A Kingdra right, of my own, see. imagine. Uh, I mean, they're selling them. Uh, my, my, my life just cut to a montage. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, I could buy one here. Uh, oh, it's level 66. Can't buy that one. That was an alpha, too. Oh, no, 75,000 is alpha. In my first Infant Fusion playthrough, I remember using a horsey... Um... Cap. What's the first version called? D D Dino? Dino, yeah. Di yeah. I remember using a uh, horsey Dino Fusion. And I was like, oh, when this thing turns into a uh, Kingdra Hydreigon, it's going to be so cool. It had no custom sprites the entire way through, right to the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was not cool at all. I, it did come out with a really good name, which was the reason I picked it as my starter, though. Uh, Horno. <laughs> That's funny. A very good name. Alright, so... Uh, hidden ability, not so good on this guy. This is oh, damn. Use earthquake. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, uh, it's normal ability is sniper. You got powers up moves that they become critical hits. Um, this one is really good. It's a 58, so it's at the top of my uh, level cap. And those dragon pulls, surf, waterfall, and scald. That is good, and it's 36,000. So I will buy it. You and I got my proud owner. Of a, a sick Ford. Kingdra. A Ford Kingdra. Nice. This baby will take you miles. Imagine I just pat the roof of your Kingdra. <laughs> Alright, uh, wait, no. Oh, <clears throat> wrong entry here. I love when they Mail. say Glalie and then use Explosion. It's really cool. Claim the party. My party's full. Uh, I, I still want to claim it, though. Come on. I can't swap out? Okay, well. I didn't even notice that. that. That is what? so scummy. What is? Um, gl Glacia. Wait, what the? Has a... I can't use a king rock. Because apparently if the level cap is 58, it means that I can't be on 58. Oh my god. I thought, no, no, my level cap is 58. It was just 48. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm sorry to inform you of that. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's that's really unfortunate. <laughs> At least I still have money. I still have money. Yeah. I can buy another. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, the scummy thing uh, is that uh, they gave Glacia a 
um, Glalie with explosion and a normal gem. <laughs> Ooh. That's, uh, that thing is just an enhanced suicide bomber. <laughs> Basically. Hey, what's this? What's the star mean? Oh, it's a shiny. Oh, it's five million. No. Who wants a shiny that bad? Come on. Man. Uh, let's see. All right. Um. There's only 47. one shiny I'd pay five million for, and that shiny Gotron. You're. Oh, you're. Hit. Ooh, you're in a premier ball. I like That's when cool. people have to squint and go, "Is is is that is that a shiny you have?" Or, or, or you send it out and you go, hey, notice anything? And they're like, um, not really. Right. You're like, it's right, I'm buying you. shiny. And then they like, hold, you it hold up like a color swatch <laughs> next to it and you're like, see? It's a different shade. All right, I bought this Kingdra. Well, it's in a cool ball at least, but it does, it only has damp though. So. Wait, you have two Kingdra now? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I respect it. Hey, speaking of Kingdra, Drake just sent out what? his Kingdra. You want a Kingdra? I'll send you the high level one. <laughs> I can't use it. I could actually use it, but no. Nah, it would bother me too much that it had the blue around it. <laughs> I'd feel, I'd feel <laughs> unaccomplished. Um, okay. Kingdra, Kingdra, Kingdra. I was about to ask what this thing is weak to, as if we weren't just discussing it. <laughs> um, I actually don't know if anything I have has a dragon move, because... No, I, was just, I don't think my Emperor has actually kept them. Alright, so I am probably just going to replace my Azumarill with the Kingdra, just because, you know, it's like... Yeah. Draco Meteor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that didn't do very much at all. You sacrificed your All special right. attack for that? And... Man, beat up is a good move. I like it. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. As long as all of your team is conscious, that is. Yeah, yeah. Um... Alright. Not my attack. Kingdom... I that yeah, I think this should be good. Let me just make sure I do have a move. I think I have Draco Meteor that I could teach my Kingdra. I swear to God, if I lose to Wallace again, I might just storm out of my island. <laughs> I might just. This might be like Kanto again. I might just be like, you know what? I'm going to sin. I've had enough. All right, here we go. Actually, no, I should give him Quick Claw so that I guarantee that I am faster. Ooh, it's delightfully devilish. Ho, ho, ho. Oh wait, I have to get someone serve. That's the one thing I don't like about this town. Because I can't I have to have serve on at least one mon. Yeah. Uh Raichu, you I get rid of Iron Tail. That wasn't really doing anything. I like that my Johto team have all hit the level cap in the time I've been attempting this league. <laughs> they were all like in the low 50s, and I think they're all now at the level cap. That sounds fun. Um, <laughs> no, Yan Mega's two levels below, and Espion is now also at the level cap. It just leveled up. Wow, that is amazing. So that's the thing is, even if I was to storm out, go do Sinnoh, I already have a level capped team that can't win. That's not going to make a difference. Right. Uh, Alright, here we go. I guess it has to be on this. I think I'll, we're going to win this. If they don't send out Kingdra first, I'll be angry, but it will still work out. We will do this. What would he start with? He normally starts... Well, Wish actually, Cash, of course. He starts with a variety of things. Wall Rain has been quite common. Um, alright, 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 alright. Right. I am going to swap out to Snorlax. Because, yeah. 
I'm not dealing with a wish cache right now. Poor Typhlosion is basically just a token thing to send out for me to revive something else. I gotta say, a lot of the, like, encounter music in Gen 3 is very weird. Yeah. Are we starting with Whiskash? That's very merciful. That gives me an opportunity right. to get rid of one of his worst. I don't have any really good healing potions, so I'm, I have to go into this, like, raw-dogging it. No potions. <laughs> raw-dogging it? What a yep. statement. <laughs> Did, he, did you see the thing about the new uh, raw dogging game that came out? No. <laughs> what? No. It's it, it's, like, it's called the raw dogging simulator, where it's oh yeah I it, yeah it's you it's a, a a flight simulator where you're in a plane and it's simulating you in a plane having to stare at the screen in the seat of the plane while you fly for so many hours and the higher the score of you stay sitting in that chair and looking at the screen gets you on the uh, higher leaderboard so anything just passes the game these days huh yeah anything. also <laughs> i want to mention my espion which i haven't used this whole elite four until i got to wallace i thought i'd start with it just to see how it went Mm -hmm. Espeon has half of its health, just over. It has right. knocked out his Whiskash and his Gyarados. <laughs> wow. I love this Pokemon, man. King George just took out Whiskash on my side. So, swap back out. To Wait, no, he's gonna use, is he going to use a Dragon Move? Is dra are Dragon Moves it. effective on Psychics? No. Like, they're just right, normal. Probably... It's not, like, not very effective. It's just... What about Ice-type? On Psychic? Yeah. No. Alright, then I'm sending in Kingdra. I'm trying to predict what he's trying to use on my Espeon so I could go into my Kingdra. Alright. Uh, why did you use Dragon Pulse? It was a Psychic-type. Oh, my God. This is, this is going too well. I don't trust this at all. Well, I'm dropping a Draco, so... And it went first. Ugh. Uh, leaf Blade. Uh, Kingdra, Kingdra, Kingdra. Um, Zone? Yeah, let's go Magnazone. What is happening? Is my Johto team really this unhinged? I mean, I did say I was bringing out the big dogs, but damn, I wasn't expecting this. Acid, nice. Alright, use thunder. Oh. Come on. You can do it. Land it. Land it. Don't I mean don't kill me, but land this. Come on, don't don't come be hit yourself. Thank you. Crit? Oh my god, that almost killed you. God. Magnazone if you Oh, excuse me. If you are a few levels higher. He's down to one and I still got four left at full health. Um, it's just me maybe? and Waylord. Uh, hopefully you make it. I'm. That's it. I'm sending out Big Dave. I'm, I'm gonna risk it all to send out Big Dave. I'm gonna give up an Come advantage. Mom, Big Dave, yeah. you can do it. Big Dave has been getting disrespected, and I have seen enough of it. One shot this Waylord with Thunderbolt. Do me proud. Oh, you did him like that. That's my Dave. He be doing it like that. Oh, I am finally free of Hoenn. I mean, I love Hoenn. It's great. I've had a wonderful time in Hoenn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kingdra's down. is a freaking oh, All right. All right. Espeon, I think you can do this. So you got two down, Espeon. I know you can take this. Magical leave this, Walrein. Come on. Super effective. Hey, Brendan, Don't get frozen this time. Thank you. Magical leaf it again. 
I remember uh, thinking that you were going to have to fight your rival after you beat Wallace and being like, no, no more, please. <laughs> Uh, alright, Chu. Can you finish this? He's probably gonna use a max potion, but hey, whatever. Just focus blast. Oh my god, it actually focus blast. Warren's actually dying. It actually died. Holy cow. I was actually expecting that. Alright, Gorbis. Gorbis is pure. Is Gorbis. I think Gorbis is pure water. So this is Thunderbolt it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It should this should kill. It didn't kill. It almost killed, but it Alright! Here yeah, they are. Nice! The Joker team have one month. once again <laughs> feeding Ali for the for the third time. <laughs> I don't think any of my other regions do Typhlosion, why are you doing it? Stop stop doing that. Why and does Typhlosion oh. do that? Oh. What's Typhlosion doing? It's... <laughs> it's... Idol animation is literally air humping. <laughs> oh. It's got two arms out and it's thrusting with the arms moving inwards with each thrust. Why... Why is it literally doing that? Well, it's a Nintendo GameCube. Uh, oh, hey, right. Brad. Um. Why are you actually home? Go back to your gym. <laughs> Wait, have they actually put the Battle Frontier in this? Seems like it. Ooh, 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 I might actually win this. Oh! <gasps> that Paralyze was actually clutch. I think they actually put the Battle Frontier in. Yo! I won! Hell yeah! Hey, we both won! <laughs> nice. Well, one, two different things, but hey, I won! Yeah, but that's the, you know, we still made progress here. Yeah, yeah, finally, at the same time. Thank God. <clears throat> I, w I was, like, literally down in my, like, in the trenches with him. Oh, thank God. Oh, now I, I can pick, use my other Kingdra. Um, red or blue? I prefer Latios, which is the blue one. Oh, wait, they actually implemented that? Yeah, I actually got the pick. I think that's your roaming legendary. Ooh, I'll, uh, so what color did you pick again? The blue one, Latios. I'll pick Latios the red one. Latios is the blue one, right? Uh, yeah. I to think. be fair, it didn't say, do you want Latios or Latios? It said red or blue, so I picked blue, so. Uh, let me look. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's blue. Latios. Yeah, that's blue. So I'll pick Latios because I actually, or, you know, the other one. Uh, because, I, you know, red. <laughs> Thank God I beat him. Why are you giving me the national decks? I already have it. <laughs> uh, because. Buddy, I have a Amphros behind me. Why are you giving me the national decks? Oh, thank God I beat this. Now I can just head to the victory road. I can bypass everything like you told me about. Yeah, and you then can get, get up there, there really fast. I don't know how bad thank you're going to want to fight the Elite Four, but you can. Yeah, I can. Uh, I just want to do at least one attempt. And if not, I'll save it for like another time. <laughs> like I come back and say, "Yeah, Hoenn, I hated you. I'm gonna for the battles. I'm uh, this." You know. Listen, I have. I, I'm gonna be honest. I really had a fun time with Kanto, and I had a really fun time with Joto. I have not loved Hoenn. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I have not it, it's honestly this rough. Nearly as much. It was rough, and that's probably because of it being so old. Oh my god, they what? What? I just went to mom to, like, <laughs> go get healed, and apparently if you go and you see her after you beat the pedal bug, Jim, she gives you an amulet coin for beating your dad. Oh, nice. I never knew that. <laughs> Alright, so I want to... Actually, no, let me get my new King Dress, since this King Dress poopy. I mean, he was cool, but he was poopy. Oh, that's right, yeah, and Mega doesn't know fly. Um... Alright, um... My 58 King Dress, which is at the level cap. And actually, I might bring in... My Blastoise is actually one level above the cap, that's funny. Sure, since I, it was already <sighs> difficult, I'm gonna bring in a Venusaur. I guess I'm manually um, going there. Slate port, they said. 
Uh, I'm thinking about you bringing Jolteon. That'd be a nice instead of Raichu. I have liked this color palette for the overworld a lot more than the orange we had before. <laughs> yeah, that orange was bad. Uh, wow, someone with a Gigalith behind them. That's such an odd Pokemon to choose as like, your follower. Alright, there we go. No hate, but good. it's just very strange. Yeah. Oh. Alright. They have not implemented the... Battle <laughs> Frontier? Have, they have not implemented the Battle Frontier. You can use the ferry to go from uh, Slateport to Lily Cove <laughs> if you really want to. That's sad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm just being invited to the Battle Frontier by Scott now. Okay. Come on, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, let, let me out. I don't, I don't want to fight any trainers. Alright, here we go. I just want to get out of here. I'm done with Hoenn. I don't want to be in this region anymore. Let me go. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I love uh, it here. It's great. Wait, no. I, I think this is the wrong way. I want to go up to the right. I do want to see if the Battle Frontier is actually... Yeah, you can go to the Battle yeah. Frontier. Oh, nice. I mean, you should probably play around with it just for a little bit, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Wanna. I want to go to Senna. Oh. <laughs> they do have, I think they have a double battle thing. I really did not enjoy the Battle Frontier. I know I was a lot younger back then, but I, I just, yeah, it doesn't really do anything for me. It about repels, but I don't care. I am running. Oh, Mr. Stockster. Alright, so I have to remember where... Do you have to dive to get to where you need to into the Elite Four There place? is no dive needed at all. Okay, so I can just travel through this water here to get to it. Good. The Battle Frontier can't be that good because there are literally no players here. <laughs> it's all... It's, it's dead. There is no one here. <laughs> I've seen one person. To be fair, they might actually be doing stuff, you know, in the Yeah, Battle they might Frontier. actually be in the Battle Frontier itself. Yeah. So. Um, let me check Ten map. battle I points. Have... What an amazing memento. Thank you, Scott. I'll never use these. Hey. I think that that's probably where you can get all those, like, good items. He's a hey, congratulations on making it this far. And a memento for all of oh, the wait. time we've spent together. There is a one part, it's not actually the frontier buildings. There is a cave on the island that has uh, some normal trainers that you can do, that has some content. I just remember that. Oh, okay. you, you'd probably do that, so. I, I think know, you have to I use... genuinely just don't know if I want to. I kind of just want to leave Hoenn. I'm not really interested in this part of the game. This is like non-canon area to me. <laughs> I just don't care <laughs> about it. Holy shit, there's a lot of people fishing here. Yeah, it's, I think there's a lot of love discs are in that area. Battle Palace. Why is there water inside the doorway? Uh, don't question it. No, I don't want to do the double battle halls. I want to leave. I, I, I just want to go to center. I'm done with it. I don't care about this place. I don't care about Hoenn. Fuck you, Hoenn. I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm sure this is a very great, wonderful, uh, content-rich place with many exciting things and uh, offers to, to buy. But I don't. I'd care. probably live it at Hoenn. I think that would probably be the region I would live in. I want to go to my favorite region now. Like Sinnoh is dope, but I wouldn't want to live in Sinnoh. I don't feel. I don't want to accidentally overlevel my team. To be fair. Uh, alright. Where'd you like to disembark? I'm going to Shinnow. I'm so looking forward <coughs> to the graphics. To changing. Yeah. That'd be NPCs nice. looking a bit more normal. I mean, it's a little stretched and a little blurry, but it looks immediately so much better. Oh, I love the Sinnoh music. It brings me great joy. 
It's good music. <laughs>